The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex. And more sex are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now, the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way, the Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. Here we go. Let's kick off the podcast on this Monday night. Welcome to the program. It is Good Times from the Podcast Season 2 brought to you by Globe. My name is Mo. Phone number 4787954. You can catch us on Skype at the Good Times Podcast and uh, text your questions at 0927360485 so we can call you. Um, we also like to introduce our new co host on the program. Now, she is going to be here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays. Every week, unless she's like is flying out of the country or something like that, she's been here on the show often, and everyone has loved her, and they thought she would be the perfect kind of, uh, I guess, or compliment to to what I bring in the program. And every single time we announce that she is going to, in fact, be here regularly, people just applaud because they fucking love her. Please Aww. welcome now formally on the show Bianca Valerio. Hi, Hi guys. Thank you for welcoming to me today. I'm so nervous. It's like if this was a guest thing, I'd be like, yo, what up? But now it's, and it's like, it's, yeah, fuck. it's weird because on the other episodes, you're like, whatever, fuck, yeah, sure, no problem. And then now it's like, Mo, I'm nervous. I'm like, I'm why? So because like, I'm really part of the show now. I'm like, because please. when you get the title, it's, it's, it's like being in a relationship. Once you're casually <laughs> dating, it's like, yeah, whatever. But when you have the official title, then you know, like, it's the real deal. So. That, I guess that makes sense. Well, here, here. Well, listen. Maybe to help calm you, or in, or maybe it might not calm you. Maybe it'll make you a little bit more nervous because seated next to you tonight, just, just, just one star. of the greatest fucking rock star in exactly. the history of our country. Just <laughs> probably the most, the most successful rock star in the history of our country. We have had him on the show. He's very, very sharp. He is uh, really, really friendly. He's a perfectionist. He's got a huge concert coming up, his first major solo concert on the uh, 12th of this month at Music Museum. Just all, all around awesome, Rico Blanco. Hi, Rico. Hey. Thanks for being here again. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me again. Of course, man. Yeah. love having you welcome, here, buddy. To welcome the new official co-host. How do you like her? I like break her down for me, man. How do you I like just, her? I just, I just met her tonight. I know. Oh, oh, I just, screw on. you, nice. Rico. We, Rico and I go back to when we were like four. <laughs> uh, oh, you guys are longtime friends as well. Yeah. Okay, shit. No, um, Bianca and I have been friends for a while. I didn't know you both of you guys. Okay, oh, great. Oh God, well, I tell mean, me, how, Bianca, how do you know him? Basically, you know, I think every chick would know that he's pr pretty much one of the biggest rock Seuss. stars in the country. Seuss. But Seuss. Yeah. So Seuss. humble. No, but how I know him is, you know, being a model and stuff. And we do a lot of fashion shows. And um, River Maya at that time would do a lot of um, performances. Even Rico would do a lot of performances mm -hmm. together with, they would do versions of like VH1 Fashion Rocks or MTV with... Um, any musical performance and they'd always be either the finale or the opening act just basically when you have them in a fashion show they're like ah oh, big budget wait wait Rico let me let me ask you about budget shit I know this is a super personal question they, before we get to everyone we actually do question. it for free you know when it's fashion shows 
Really? Why? Why would you do something crazy the like chicks. that? It's a fashion show. That's the payment. <laughs> no, but is it really split? Is it split equally? Or but if if you lead singer, maybe you get a little more because no. you carry it while. The, or is it really just right down to everybody divided by five or whatever it may be? When I was with River Maya, we always split it equally among the members. Uh, no matter if. You're doing most of the, I don't know, uh, the heavy lifting. Lifting. Let's say you yeah. have like your guitar is heavier than the other guy's guitar. Doesn't right. matter. <laughs> you split <laughs> everything saying. equally. Um, there was a time we actually we we got new members because over the years about we changed. Of course, we, yeah. we changed members. Um, we had new members, and I remember our manager uh, asking me if we should give the new members less and I said you know it's gonna it's just not gonna work if you do it that way let's split everything equally and it'll encourage them to bring more to the table etc and it's yeah it just feels yeah. right that way equally and, and and let me again this is all past stuff but you know, people are fans of you. They they followed you in, in everything you did. But when when you got new members and they jump in and they're part, they were part of such a huge brand, which which was River Maya. And then they're gonna play on stage with again one of the greatest of of all time, right there, Rico Blanco. Do you see them like going, oh fuck, man? Especially like that first time they get up on stage, a new member, and you're like they're extremely intimidated or nervous. Maybe this will help out with with Bianca here, who's getting getting up on stage, uh, you know, in a new and ever with you know maybe someone like me who's a little bit more experienced but you gotta you admit see? though when you look at rico i mean no offense you're such a sedate guy you're like a walking <laughs> valium man <laughs> you're just so calm and you're not actually right you can but be I intimidating like if, if you I want to but up. you're actually not very intimidating you're just you're so yeah, okay, steady fine. But, but you're only talking about his kind of like real chill person i'm talking about the greatness and almost to a level of perfectionist that rico is that if i got on stage with him and we were going to perform a song I would be fucking f I would my yeah, hands would be shaking I would be shitting in my pants I'm, 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 try, I'm trying, trying to I'm trying to recall right I'm trying to recall our first gigs with uh, like new members I, I can't really remember but knowing myself we would have by the time we play we we would have rehearsed whatever we were going to play like a thousand times already. So by the time we get on gotcha. stage, whether you're a new member or an old member, you, you, you know the song by heart and you're just enjoying it by then. That's, how that's, I, that's why I like to rehearse to death so that by the time you're, by, by showtime, you're just enjoying what you rehearsed. Are you the yeah, type of guy good. like Mo? Like, are you the type of leader where you put a lot of pressure in the new person because it makes them feel compelled to really, you know, represent oh, are and you do Kobe, good? Right? Or could <laughs> are you the kind of guy that's more relaxed and you're very encouraging so that they feel more comfortable? Hmm. I'm. I'm a. I'm a. Most right. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, and uh, um, in other words, like, you're a bitch. It's not so. <laughs> it's not so much fun rehearsing with me because <clears throat> I really. Well, if you enjoy, uh, if you enjoy, if you enjoy learning and improving, and because I push myself, including myself, in rehearsals, and if I think that uh, you're not giving. What you can give, yeah. I know you're not. Your potential is up here, and this is what you're giving. Then I'll, you probably yeah. hear it from me. <clears throat> um, but I like to push everyone in rehearsals, so that come performance time, I'm just enjoying with everyone. I don't, you know, when, when it's show, when when it's time for the concert, I don't, you know, I don't really like teach you on stage what you did and not do. Maybe in my head I keep some pointers and discuss yeah. it the next time but uh, not during performance so I don't know it's just my style I, I like to push you so that you become better if yeah. I know that yeah. you, can you can still can be all you can be yeah, yeah but if like uh, but if I know that's your best then I'll just look for a replacement <laughs> simple <laughs> you suck dude move on to the next <laughs> 
<laughs> Rico Blanco on the program. I love it. Love those words, man, because they're honest and it makes a ton of sense. First major, co- uh, first major soul concert uh rico yeah. happening june 12 which is god i mean we're talking a week a little over a week away at music museum are you ready to go tonight man let's let's get some some yeah. of these calls and uh, enough we'll about find me. Out how we can help our people oh no we're gonna talk about you man. oh we're still gonna talk about you definitely you know how it works here yeah but <laughs> but we'll uh we'll talk about some of these people who are online and ready to go and let's start with marie marie you are um uh, let's see here how do i get you marie you, i forgot how old you are 28 oh. mahati welcome to the show how can we help you? This here is the, 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 the great Rico Blanco and the budding greatness of uh, Bianca Valerio. What's up, Marie? Hello, guys. Hey. Yes, I Hi. just have a question. I would like sure. to know how to confront. Yeah, I would like to know how to confront my husband when he accidentally mentioned a man's name during his orgasm when I was giving him blowjob. Oh. But it would be okay if it's like Alex or Joey. Where it's common to be a girl's name, it's like a, yeah, but right. He actually mentioned a guy's name, Jacob. What was the guy's name? And Jacob. Jacob. <clears throat> Jacob. Oh Damn. God. Yeah. And Team he Jacob. He mentioned it twice. <laughs> he mentioned twice. it twice. One <laughs> wasn't okay, enough. One second. Hold on one second, guys. I gotta ask these. I gotta ask my friends here on the show. Oh. Mo. I've never believed that people would do this. Maybe because I don't fuck a lot of people, man. I, I don't have a long list of people I fuck. So, or I don't fuck a variety of people throughout the week. Um, Bianca Rico, you guys might be different, but I can't wrap my mind around saying someone else's name while having sex. I've certainly thought about other people while having sex, but I can't, is it, do I have I- immense self-control that I haven't whispered someone else's name? Or Because I, I don't think that I'm any better than anyone else. I just think... No, but there are a lot of guys, though, when they do... Say someone else's name? No, but they do the thing where they imagine, like, Giselle Bunchen and all those other girls if they can't stand looking at their girlfriend. Right, but is there... So what, am I lacking in imagination that their imagination is so vast and believable to themselves that they will actually go out and in the physical world produce a noise that their mind has come up with? No, I'm I'm with you on... Jacob? I'm with you on that. I don't... don't, um, Sorry. Go. Um, I actually uh, look on his phone book, sa, sa iPhone, yeah. Tiningnan ko if there's someone named Jacob. There's only one person who named Jacob. Well, that's probably Jacob. Now, uh, Marie, uh, okay, before I get to Rico and your thoughts on this, because uh, you were, you started there real quick, yeah. what was your it's reaction? Right. Because, again, there's... I can't believe it's happening. I can't believe no someone would actually do that. And we get this call so often that I have to believe that it's true. Right. But what's your ex- what's your reaction when you're blowing your boyfriend or, or your sorry your husband you're blowing your husband and he says Jacob Jacob is it up twice do you continue to blow do you stop do you go putang ina si I mean what really is the first stop. you stop, stop. and <clears throat> and Ang kapal ng mukha niya. He said, just continue after you question him. Oh my God. And it's even worse when you say it in Tagalog. Why, why, why are you so quiet, Rico? Why? <laughs> okay, Rico, Rico you're, on the, you're on the same page with, on, on me on this one. It's impossible for a guy. Nee, parang, I don't know, but... But you, you, I remember, you, didn't you just say you get the story a lot here? Yeah, we, so, do. But we do get the story. I don't of, get of, the, maybe, you know, uh, it's gay? not my style to say the name of even the person you're with. I don't. Exactly. But you know what? I'll be blah. honest. I, mean, I, I, don't I do say the name. I, have had, I don't say the name. I have I'm slept missing with the girls. point here. It's I don't say the dude's name. name. No, regardless. No, wait, wait. Bianca, whole, I don't. We're, we're not talking about first. I think the guy or the girl. We're the fact that people actually do say, say names. names. Like, yeah, I don't. I've, I've, I've slept with maybe two or okay. three girls who. who then said they're guys, that's not the point. Bianca, when I Bianca's like, right. Bianca's right. Guys, there's a girl here I asking. I don't care if you okay. say, "Oh, um, Jacob. Oh, John. Oh, right, Sam." She has a point, dude. It's a dude's name. Okay, okay. Or okay, the fact okay, that right. it actually happened. Okay, if that's it, where it's Rico not our style. It's not our right. style, but okay. Uh, okay, she's now saying it happened. So okay, if it okay. happened. So Marie, what do you do? Know. Right, that's is that your question? What do you do? Like, did you question? Yeah. It? Did you do you think he's gay? 
Yeah. Oh, so you think he's gay? Siyempre. 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 Follow-up question on your part. Ito, ito, ito. Pasabi mo sa kanya yung word na kamuning. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. If he says kamuning, then he's probably not gay. If he says kamuning, <laughs> anal sex. I mean, I mean, say, do you want to put it in my butt? You know, check, uh, check mo lang yung kamuning check. No, no, no. Mic check. Um, I, I, I would like to add that he comes, he works at the government. So, ang mga kasama niya talaga is put the lakit. And mm. that Hold on one second, guys. Can you put I, her volume up a little bit? Am I the only one not hearing yeah, her well? Yeah, uh, Steph, yeah, Steph, let's bump her volume up real quick. And, and Marie, if you could speak a little louder, just sure. I, I want to make sure to get all the, the details here. So he works in the government, and what? Yeah, he works in the government. And ang mga kasama niya sa work puro lalaki, konti yung babae. No, oh, sige, serious. Ano na lang advice? Tinanong mo ba siya? You want to ask him? Like, Good question. Straight, like, yeah. You should ask him. He said Jacob. Up. Why would you say yeah. Jacob? Mm-hmm. Maybe you should ask when him straight. I, yeah, ask him. I, I mean, you're a husband and wife. Uh, I already asked him. Sabi niya lang eh, kasama, kasama niya daw yun sa work. So, hindi ko, wala pa akong follow-up question kasi hindi ko pa alam kung ano yung oh, next move tama, ko. Tama, kung, tama. kung pupunta pa ako sa, pupunta okay, pa how ako long sa ago, work nila. How long ago was this? Like a week ago. Yeah, so it's it's yeah, it's still action time. Yeah, but <laughs> how may, have you had suspicions that he was gay even before this happened? No, pero... Do you have kids? No. Does, does he like girls? Yeah, do you guys have kids? Do you ever catch him like checking out other girls? No, and... wala pang kids. Wala pang kids. Have you gone you through any... the web browser and checked for any po- possible oh, gay porn yeah, that, that he's that he's kind of looked up in the good thinking, few weeks man. or months? Rigo has a good point. When you're out... Do you ever catch mm-hmm. him? Does he check out girls Chicks, or yeah. dudes? Ah, well, minsan, sabi niya sa akin, may nakikita siya na guwapo, maganda yung forma, hanggang ganun lang. Pero, girl, uh, ay, yung girls. Y- yung girls. Sa girls, um, natingin siya. Pag, pag super Sexy, payat na ng babae. Sexy, ganyan. Okay. Yeah, uh, Nay, baka bite. Rico, I mean, baka bite. Rico I'll, I'll, I'll say when a guy's good looking, man. I'll be okay, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I won't, I won't say, wow, guwapo, high up sa forma. Hindi, uh, ako, that, that, ako sabihin ko, guwapo, nakakainis. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, yeah, but uh, when I, I, so I, okay, but when I start breaking down their fashion sense while they're being good looking, uh, uh, red flag. No, I'm really red flag. Because you're now you're now involving fashion. I mean, if you it, so okay, you look at David Beckham like, damn, those camel pants look so good. I mean, no, I think a guy um, will acknowledge. Then I would want a dick in my David ass. David Beckham <laughs> dresses well. Are you with me here, people? Then, no, then, then. I'm with you, then, Bianca. But that's not true for us heterosexual then, men. I, if if I said, wow, look at that David Beckham and those camel pants, I really then, would then want balls on my face. No, right because a lot of guys then. try to dress like him. So what does that mean? No, they no, we don't try to dress. Like like him actually okay, I'm just saying some we don't people. we're not <laughs> like back I'm not gonna do not really uh, <laughs> indeed yeah yeah, no, I, I agree with you. I mean, you come to think of it, we don't try to no. dress like Beckham. Okay, can I give you one piece of advice, um, Marie? Does yeah. he like to do you from behind a lot? Mm. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's get to it. Marie, at this point, there really isn't much else you can do but continue to investigate. Because Mm -hmm. while he technically said something that's going to make your mind spin in circles, because it's certainly making our mind spin, consider this the foot in the door of a huge investigation on your part. Try to find out more about Jacob. Try to uh, snoop a little bit more. He is your husband, so I'm going to endorse the snooping here. You want to check his phone every now and then when he's in the shower? Mm. Try to check out some messages. Go to the internet and really search that history History. of browsing. Check for for those gay porn sites and stuff like that so we can kind of confirm if something's going on here. And check like uh, the YouTube account and check like what he searches for in YouTube. And, you know, just oh, kind of okay. do those little, little things like that. Investigative at this point, you can if you feel like bringing it up again and say, you know what, I've been bothered. Why did you say Jacob? The only reason why I'm asking you again because hindi maganda yung answer mo the first time, which was sige, mo lang. I mean, it really doesn't 
give closure to my whole thing. Why did you say Jacob's name? Do it's you, bothering me. And, and, and go from whatever answer he says. Okay. Do you, do I, you, I say that that's it. Sorry. Do you trust him in all the other aspects? Has he ever given you a reason not to trust him? Good question. Um, yung shot it, naman nandun siya, hindi siya nawawala eh. No, but has he, is he trustworthy? Yes. Yes naman. Well, kasi ako, if he is naman, parang, I don't like the snooping... I don't like the spying know, relationships. Eh, so. I don't. Me, me too. I don't like So that that's either. why I prefer yung you talk to him yeah. and ask him, why, Jake, why would you say so? And then charge it under strike one. I don't know. Strike, yeah. But Guys, but, but I don't like the snooping I, I, thing either because that already establishes like there's no trust and yeah, but it's not like he didn't earn it. But I mean, when giving a when getting a blowjob, saying something like <clears throat> that's the most intimate time that you have with your spouse, yeah, man. It's, but, it's, right? We we always say sex is communication. <clears throat> so right now I'm communicating yeah. with your dick in my mouth. Okay, okay, and okay. you said someone yeah, yeah. else's name. It's not two like times. it's not. It's actually she actually caught him. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. So yeah. Okay. But oh, Percy, what puede. I would do, what, Marie, though, what I would do is, I think if this, if you're married to this man and supposedly mm-hmm. you trust him and you, you guys communicate well, if this is the first time that it, he's ever given you suspicion to, to you know, um, question his um, being genuine and sincere, then talk to mm-hmm. him. This guy is supposedly your best friend, right? I mean. Whether you're a gay beard or he doesn't even realize he's gay or it was just really he slipped and meant to say Jackie. I don't know. The point is, if this guy is your husband, you can talk to him. I mean, just don't do it in a way like you're attacking him. But kind of, I don't know. I would say something like... um, I wouldn't I would say, say who Jacob's the, name too. I wouldn't say who the <laughs> fuck is Jacob, right? Because obviously that person will get defensive. But as a girl, I would be like, I wouldn't do it right at that moment. I would do it like while maybe or he's do doing it, something. Do it again. And then, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, we lost her. She was on a cell phone. No worries. We don't, no, we, we don't gonna, need her back. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, maybe they can do it again and she can say, call me Jacob. Call me Jacob, and if he <laughs> goes for it, and like really, you know, <laughs> and, or or do this, no, on the same page, uh, Rico. <laughs> Next time you're having uh, sex with your husband, you say "Go, Jacob," and then it let what till he says you're fucking Jacob too. <laughs> yeah, or <laughs> you, know, you, I don't know. Kind of you guys are such there. retards. Okay, I mean, <laughs> there are a lot of gay beards in the world, and poor girls, right? So, what do you think? Do you think he's gay? Uh, but well, the fact that I, there's again, another name, it doesn't matter that he's gay. They're married. He could have said a girl's yeah. name. Yeah. Same thing. I mean, that's true. I'm not that's biased true. versus gay people. So whether it's a, but I'm biased against infidelity. Oh yeah, definitely. But so, it's, I mean, it's one thing to be, you know, to 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 cheat, but at the same time, a whole different spectrum is added Because you're to, cheating about your sexuality as well. Your, yeah, it's, so it's kind of, <laughs> you're opening Well, it's a lot more, box. I mean, you, you have to just put your, 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 you have to put yourself in her shoes. I mean, it's a lot, it's scandalous to say someone else's name while having sex. It's even greater of a controversy if you say a guy's name. Yeah. All of a sudden, you took something wild and you made it wilder if, in her shoes. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you're right. Yeah. We, we're not tama, biased tama. against homosexuality, tama, tama. but we, in her frame of mind, you're holy right. fuck, what a, right. this is you're crazy right. yeah. stuff. Because I'm you know? talking right. as a girl, right? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like, how yeah. do you compete with that, right? Fair yeah. enough. All right. Thanks for the call, Marie. We appreciate it. Uh, um, again, investigate at this point and see if something comes up. Yeah, yeah, maybe you don't have to steal the phone. Let's just start with uh, Internet Browser and see how far you go with that one. Yeah. Let's get another wife problem and talk to Jess. You're 29. Jess, you're on line three. Welcome to the show. Rico Blanco here as well as Bianca Valerio, who's now on the program uh, every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of the week. Hi, Jess. Hi. 29, QC. Hi, Mom. What's up, baby? Hi. Hi. Uh, actually, it's- uh, my problem does not involve a boyfriend or a husband. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Girlfriend. Well, continue. <laughs> no, not girlfriend either. Anyway, I have a fun buddy, a pillow buddy, or whatever you want to call it. Definitely not oh, a yeah, fuck buddy because it never gets that far. Mm-hmm. But um, oh, oh, there's a term, okay. pillow buddy. Wow. I yeah, yeah, I guess heard. you could call it that. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. Anyway, and this why aren't guy, you guys fucking? 
Because he sucks at giving oral and sex itself. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with him or me. I don't know. I so why do you guys still cuddle? Why do you guys still make out? What's the point? Because it's He's a great nice to sleep with someone. Besides someone. Oh, yeah, besides someone, sorry. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't mind sleeping next to him. It's cool and whatever. And I don't mind not having sex. But he kind of gets to a point that where he wants to do it. But then when he okay. tries to do it, it's really bad. Like, I've... Like I've never been so turned off in my life. And so what's the what's your dilemma? The dilemma is like how do I say no to him going down on me or having sex? Because I think I ran out of like excuses. And like you, I just want to cuddle. You value sleep. his friendship. Is Sorry. Not, you value his friendship. Yeah, or? we're friends. We've been friends for like five years now. And you don't blow him. Like say he goes down on you, you don't go ahead and then give him a blow I, job. I would if he'd ask me. But then he always tries to do it with me, and I'm like, oh my god, it's really bad. If I may, can you, okay, just so for the guys listening who go. might want to sharpen I'm, I'm up so their speechless. skills, what makes it bad? <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, what he, makes it bad? All right, he, we start out slow, right? We're making out and whatever, and then he tries to go down on me, and then he goes all crazy over it. Like, uh, at one point, I got scratched down there. Yeah, he treats like her vagina like a rush his or dick. something. I don't. I don't really don't yeah. think he knows what he's doing. And like even with he does his not hands, know what he's doing. he doesn't know what he's doing with his hands either. Uh, and the sad part be, is, like, yeah. I hope he's not gonna do that to other girls. I mean, like, really? I Are think, you the first girl he's ever made out with? No, I'm sure I'm not. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's the, the he's going against the book like on everything with the, with the going down on you. You shouldn't be going wild. You shouldn't be tr- I say this all the time on the show. You can't treat someone's vagina like your dick. You know with your dick, you can kind of just like it's called jack off because it's it's such a violent kind of thing, right? You can't do that to the vagina. Trust me, you're you're going to get a girl calling the show exactly like uh, Jess is here. So so would it be Wait, bad if I like down. tell him like Dude, you don't know what you're doing. No, no of course not. Don't say don't it that say, way. I'm sorry. That was so violent. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, positive. Don't, don't how about positive reinforcement? Like, positive wow. reinforcement. Oh. Okay, Rigo, let's see. An example. Rigo. I don't know, positive but maybe if he's doing <laughs> like, something right. Yeah, just say, it. baby, if that you, feels so good. You communicate to him. Tell him what to do. And then when he does it, tell him that feels good. So he'll do it more. Or maybe... Maybe Watch porn do. together. No, that's where he no, learns it from. That's where he got it's it. Porn, from. where he's yeah. smashing. Yeah. You think that's oh, where yeah. he got that's it where from? That's where he got it. Oh yeah. Oh, you ever okay. watch porn where they start biting on your pussy lips? Yeah. And like crazy shit. Yeah. That's no, you probably don't do that. where he got it from. Yeah. Hmm. Do so. me a favor. Get 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 a get a playlist of Rico's slowest <laughs> yeah. kind of music, right? <laughs> and then you tell him. Follow the music. You know, let's follow the rhythm of the music. Rico, come and throw out a couple of songs that you know that would kind of slow him down when he's down there. And then you start going, hey, listen, listen to Rico's voice and just follow his lead. Because then it'll kind of slow him down. I think right now when he's when he's doing this to you, in his head, he's hearing fucking, uh, so what's really fast? Like, welcome to the jungle. Swedish, welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Paradise City. Uh, some yeah. Gangnam style in his, where it's just so fast and loud that he's following it. Slow him down. Make yeah, because sometimes a guy can get so excited and then like teeth come into the picture. Yeah, not, they're right. not mean to bite you, but they like, it just bangs on your pelvic bone. You're like, you kind play, of... Like, play some Barry yeah. White, you know. Or yeah, okay. or... Let's or, get it on. <laughs> Right. Yeah, and then tell him. Make sure to tell because you can have the music and he's still going to go wild. You have to tell him, hey, babe, follow follow the pace of the song. And then you get a nice little slow, sexy kind of music going. He'll then have to naturally slow down. R- Rico, is this true? I mean, you're the musician. He would have to kind of, his body will all tell Wait, him, right? guys, all, all she has to say is, I really want to go slow, Okay. Dude, don't overthink this. Just tell the guy. Uh, you're really? Kissing. You think so? You think that'll work? All, yeah. I've but, done but, it. But I'll you just understand. Be, I really he needs... Slow, but you have okay? to... You've done it. Really? But you so have you to... told the guy to slow down? He, have you done it? Have you told yeah, him to he, slow he was, down? He was, he was quarter pounder in cheese your vagina and you told him to slow down yeah. a little? Me? Yeah. No, 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 no. She's asking Bianca, me if she... Sorry, oh, sorry. me? Are you talking or to me? Yes. Okay. I'm talking to you, Bianca. No, because there are days when... 
Okay, since I'm the, a co-host now, I guess I have to be yes. more open, whatever. <laughs> like you weren't open enough. <laughs> like I wasn't yeah, open ahead. enough, yeah. No, but there are days you kind of want to get, you want to have sex. And then there are days you just want to... Fuck. No, 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 no. That's, be cute that's our sex, and yeah. be like yeah. sweet and, and <laughs> be, you know, make sweet. love, whatever <laughs> the term is, right? So, so obviously when you're not being animalistic about it, you're sweeter and you're whatever. And I'm very comfortable, <laughs> uncomfortable right now, by the way. So you just have to tell them like, start yeah, kissing we're about slowly to and let's, just, let's, just let's, kiss slowly and yeah. guide him. You know, guys, w- a guy just wants to please a woman, right? Yeah, and vice yeah, versa. Sweet. So you just have to tell him like, Hey baby, I, I really love what you're doing, but can we, can we go slow? Can we mo what? <laughs> I'm laughing because Jess is like this. This is Bianca's like, sometimes you just have sex and sometimes you, and Jess goes, fuck. fuck. <laughs> just what you want to go worse than that. Um, you know, Bianca, I, I agree with you. And, and if you think about the setting that they're in, they're about to sleep. She wants somebody to sleep next to. So if you kind of remind them, hey, listen, fun buddy or pillow buddy, whatever the fuck you call it, let's, let's just kind of, let's have sleep sex. You know, where we're just kind of about to sleep, keep it slow, or do this. Give him a blowjob and the slowest blowjob ever and then just go god i love it slow and just while you're licking his shaft you know so he can oh okay i got you know maybe there's some, he's picking up some clues here but honestly make a playlist it sets the tone really make a playlist i swear you have the right music you will get anyone in bed i swear to god so Bianca, right. what are some of the songs that you so what songs have worked <laughs> yeah <laughs> It doesn't matter, conscious. but yeah, I think music really helps. I mean, that's the whole dude. You serenade. I mean, that's the whole point, right? It mm-hmm. is how to get into a woman's heart to her pants, right? Something like this, Bianca. This is dude. This is you. Yeah, that's me. Something like that. It's, it's Something a, like yeah, yeah. It, d- it depends, right? I mean, that's like. More. Dude, was that yeah, you yeah, singing? Yeah. No, 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 no. Hell no. Oh, I wish. Oh, okay. no, I was that's, like, that's wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. You know, that kind of nice little slow. Or, or if yeah. you want to get even more raunchy. Girl, you make me want to get you pregnant. Yeah. You make me want to get you pregnant. Lay your body down and get you pregnant. You Rico, please tell me you can write a song just like that. Girl, I want to get you pregnant. Or, I mean, please. That, it's so it's so much romance. Oh, man, what he was saying? I, did, I wasn't listening to the lyrics. It's the you, beat is... You got, <clears throat> oh, the beat is perfect. That's R. Kelly. He's, yeah. It's made for fucking... But you got to listen to the lyrics on this. Rico, one of the... If, I, I would say, in my opinion, the greatest songwriter that's ever lived in, in the Philippines. Listen to the lyrics of this song. It's the greatest thing ever. Watch this. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, let me, let's give this one. Girl, you make me want to do me. My favorite part. Rico, isn't that genius? <laughs> it's genius. Take man. you out, take you out, and say, uh, 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 wine and dine, uh, 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 sexing me, uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and because it's R. Kelly, it's even worse, right? It's uh, the lyrics are like, I met this girl at the club, I need to put her in my kitchen. Girl, you make me want R. Kelly, the same guy who thinks he can fly, no? Exactly. Yeah, same, exact oh dude. my god. Yeah, so. Oh, no, that's but, genius um, right there. All right, anyway. Yeah, great music uh, may, might help. I'm Again, you know, maybe Rico and I are exactly alike. I don't know, but when I'm having sex, no music, man. I want it quiet. Uh, that's just me. Mm. I mean, I didn't say you didn't, you, you're not supposed to have music, but it helps. I'm just saying mm, that it okay. helps. It kind of, it sets the tone, right? It definitely does. Yeah, it for definitely her does case, help. Yeah. It, it, in her problem, exactly, yeah. Rico. In her problem, I think definitely the music might slow. We're just yeah. trying to get him to slow down. Positive so reinforcement. Yes. If, she's, right. if he's Positive. doing something right, tell him he's doing great. Mm-hmm. If he's doing something right. And then say like, yeah, keep doing that. Yeah. I mean something, yeah. All right, thanks, guys. Okay, bye. Thank you, Jess. Taking a break. We got a lot of calls here tonight. It's a Monday night on the program. Rico Blanco, Bianca Valerio. It's good times for more of the podcast season two. Don't go away. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. It all starts. 
stars, we're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers, we still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes there are suddenly shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Take a little sunshine Hey, podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drugstores and supermarkets nationwide. Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. familiar with a with a game Chubby Bunny. But um what's, chub, what's wait. Have you, have you played Chubby Bunny before? No? You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth and you okay. keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you okay gonna ba. Okay. And you're gonna be like okay na okay na. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Okay, I'm gonna do two at a time. Okay, can I buy? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, can I buy? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> okay, can I buy? I can not, I can not. Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast here on this Monday night. You're listening to Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season two, June 3rd, 2013, which means uh, we're about uh, nine days away before the first major solo concert of our guest tonight, Rico Blanco, happens at uh, Music Museum. June 12th. Rico. Yeah, June 12th, right? Uh, yes. Wednesday, about nine days away. Um, and now, Rico, you are a, uh, a re rehearsal freak, as you said mm -hmm. earlier on the show. You rehearse like crazy. What's the rehearsal schedule like for this show? Uh, three times a week, at least six hours each time. And oh, my God. On the other days when I'm not promoting the show, I do homework. Um, uh -huh. I rehearse at home. 
and fix some other uh, arrangements and homework for the show. Wow. Hey, so thank you for being here, man. I know you're taking some time out from rehearsals tonight to, 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 to be here on the show. We appreciate it very much. Um, and yeah, so what, I mean, I mean you, you were, I asked you off air, are, are there songs that you uh, d- don't like playing uh, over and over just because, you know, but, but people want to hear them, obviously, because they love your work. Uh, you, you, you answered with, you just want to change up the arrangement on mm. some of them. Are we going to see some surprises here uh, on your uh, Independence uh, Day concert well, with, with some different changes on arrangement? I've been doing um, something I call Galactic Fiestamatic. It's uh, uh, pretty much what I call the kind of music I make now. Uh, Galactic uh-huh. Festamatic is a mix of um, synthesizer and new wave and electronic music and Filipino tribal ethnic folk music. I've been doing it for a few months now. Um, yeah, yeah. In, 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 in with the gear and all that. Um, but usually in concerts, uh, like in multi-band concerts, we play five songs, six songs, stops. And um, in... The most I've done uh, probably ten songs for a concert. Uh, for this show, I'm, I'll be playing way more than that. So I added a few songs that we haven't played before in this format. So if you've heard our Sweet. my old songs in the band format with with guitars and drums and bass, and you haven't seen this new format, then you'd be hearing all the songs. Fresh, you know, like you've never heard them before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Holy crap! Really? So that's so that's major rearrangement it's, then. Uh, yeah, uh, it's major. It's some major. Of the old ones. And so you're going to be launching all these sounds Good in your stuff. concert. Yeah, yeah. It's like you hear a new track and it, you think it's new, and then all of a sudden I start singing. Oh, it's that song, yeah. and then you sing along because you, you know all all the songs are like that uh, for this concert. Is there one kind of like track, what you did favorite? recently? Sorry. Sorry. No, I was, if you. Sorry, 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 sorry. Go ahead, Bianca. No, is there like a certain favorite song that everyone should look, look out for in your concert? There's a medley that I, in my head, is called. <laughs> it's censored. <laughs> well, just go fucking crazy. Uh, it's called just go fucking. Crazy. Yeah, in my head, oh, okay, uh, we call okay. it something else on the. But <laughs> okay. the, those. Yeah, our last caller called it oral. It's the it's the medleys. It's the. Okay, I don't want to give up, give away yeah, too okay, much. Okay. They're they're like. No no no. Medleys. How about this? How about this, Rico? Also, recently you came out with a little bit of a medley, but with a parochia uh, with with oh. Chita, where you guys did Panahona mm. and Harana. So yeah. it was a little medley like where you threw two Im- incredibly popular songs, put it together, and now everyone is thing. And it man, I mean, I'm telling you, the moment it came out, Twitter exploded. <laughs> it's like everybody was retweeting this video, this performance yeah. of you and and Chito. And why not? Because it was fantastic, man. I mean, so, it, so, you doing a little bit of Harana, him doing yeah. a little of Panahona Naman. Is it something like this we're going to see? We're going to see stuff like that in the concert. Definitely, definitely. Uh, and fantastic. more, and more. I do have guests uh, taken by cars are opening. Nice. Uh, Kichi sure. Nadal is going to be there. Um, Ira Cruz is going to help me out too. So we're excited. Awesome. All right. Guys, June 12th, Music Museum. Do it, man. Rico Blanco is going to be there. You. All right. Uh, let's get to a question here yeah, regarding music as well. If you don't mind, before, uh, you know, taking a break from uh, people's <laughs> or at least women, oh, wives and, and girlfriends or sexual problems. Let's talk to Jigs. Jigs is in Montreal, Canada. Jigs, uh, bonjour. Good morning. Thanks for being on the show. Rico Blanco here. You got a question for him. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour, monsieur. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi. What's up, bud? Hi. I'm good. Hello? Yes. All right. Your question for Rico. Yes. Um, first of all, um, about NBA, Pacers or Miami? That's your top. Uh, I think everyone knows. Oh, I'm the biggest man. Miami game Heat Game seven. Fan. Game seven. Yeah. I'm the biggest Miami yeah, Heat I'll fan. Yeah, listen. I'm a LeBron James Yeah, you're fan. talking to Rico Blanco here. Rico, again, give us the uh, resume regarding Miami Heat fan status on you, pre- man. Pre- president, Philippines chapter, Miami Heat. <laughs> 
fan, fans club. <laughs> fans club. Mm. Yeah, no question that. I, I, I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play the uh, the villain here to you, Rico, to yeah. your hero. I, right. I'm going Pacers only because I like the small market teams. I like, I like when the small market teams win. Um, and then I like the old school style that the Pacers play with the big center and the big power forward. I'm with you. Um, <laughs> it, it's I don't, a little throwback. Okay. Uh, off season, the Miami Heat. I'm a I'm a Heat fan. Okay. The Heat yeah. added mm-hmm. added Allen and Lewis and you know like we have four shooters man. now. No, but before Birdman, so we had Lewis, Batiash, Allen, and and Your three guys. You know the so four far. four yeah. guys Miller, and like why didn't we get a big guy? And then yeah, all of we, a we sudden, all my fellow Heat fans were like, "Yeah, because Chris Bosh is not a center." What do you think of? Him? I'm like, dude, we couldn't. <laughs> We had a tough time versus Kevin Garnett. And, you know, so like by, I think, All-Star break, my Laker fan friends asked me who I'm worried about. I said, I'm not worried about any team except for the Pacers, the Grizzlies, and the Spurs. (laughs) Yeah. And in the semis, they all ended. I I wanted the other teams to knock them out. Because Miami's really going to have a hard time, a hard time with man. Indiana and with the Spurs. I don't like the small ball business, but... Yeah, yeah. it is the prototypical modern team, though, when you look at the oh, Heat. That, that's okay. what makes the series so cool, Jigs, uh, is that mm-hmm. you have your old school style, your old school setup yeah. of, uh, of, of you know big center, big power forward, versus that prototypical modern team, which is mm. the big three, uh, yeah. athletic, young, run uh, type of Miami team. Now, while, yeah, they do have veterans like uh, Rico said in the Cyber Sense. Yeah, yeah, sit over there, love, real quick. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to you (laughs) in a, so we'll talk fashion in in five minutes. But yeah, um, (laughs) you, you have, you have Allen, Lewis, Miller. These guys are, are, are veterans, but that core is that, is that modern thing that we're, we're seeing now. I think it's too much redundancy in this team. Why do you need four? Shooters, like because shooter. that's that's the style now. Uh, the, Rico, I mean, look, but you can only teams. field it's in almost five like players. You have to have. You can only field in five yeah, but players. It, you can't field in like right. Nine. But the style is big three now. That's what it is. I, and maybe my maybe it's you guys who fucking started this thing. But I that is the trend that most of these teams are going for. I want. That's to, why I like seeing the Pacers who go against that trend and yeah. stick with the with with the eighties yeah. kind that's, of. Uh, that, that's style. why I'm I'm torn. You know, I like the Pacers. I like even last year the fact that these are like not superstars but well put together by you know people who know how a team works uh, it's a team I'm not cheering against the Pacers cuz I like how they're playing I like the attitude sure. of the guys but I'm a Miami Heat fan I don't like the small ball system but that's what we got to <laughs> work with and I want to be proven wrong I'm still waiting for the law of averages to catch up because nobody has been shooting well in the playoffs for the Heat. So I'm just waiting. It's either the law of averages catches up and, you know, the shooters catch fire or we get knocked out. Yun lang. That's right. I, I, I don't see Miami losing uh, tomorrow. I think uh, they were in the same position as they were the other year with Boston go- taking them to seven. But they... And, uh, you know, the only time the Heat lose is if their players are not playing to their capability. They can Which only is, be beaten if another team is perfect and if they're not playing their game. Yeah, but if we, they play their game, even if the other team is perfect, the Miami Heat win. Yeah, but we haven't seen good. Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh in like 10 years now. Wait, have, have you seen them? In the last, <laughs> I don't know how many games. Yeah, but if they, but they, There's if, a guy yeah, wearing see, that, Dwayne see, that, Wade's but, jersey, but, but I don't know shows. if it, that's him. <laughs> But but see at the t- okay Rico that's a very good point but that just shows the dominance of the Heat the fact that you haven't seen Wade and the fact that you haven't seen Bosch yeah and, and Allen shooting extremely bricks, but we're still winning right now. And, but the fact that 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 group on un- extremely underperforming can take a very good Pacers team to seven games that means that the one if one reason Wade and Bosch show up tonight the, one, one reason LeBron James. That's yeah. why yeah. the games that's are still how close. Good they that's how are. good he is. No, right? Just that's how good right. LeBron no, James I, is. It's the Miami I, Cavs. I fucking completely agree. It is. They are that good because of him. What more if tonight Bosch and Wade even play 
just an average game, oh, yeah. they will run away with tonight's game. It, it, it's just the way it is. I mean, the Pacers are goddamn near perfect. And in their perfect play, they, they, they still have to go seven against Miami mm-hmm. without a Wade and Bosch playing their game. Man, if Wade and Bosch show up tonight, I'm sorry. The, the Heat are going to go to the finals. And they're playing in Miami. They're well coached. They, they're, they're at home. And mm-hmm. LeBron is still LeBron. Yeah, but if, you know, uh, if, if I, I'd like to see the Pacers win, though. If the others don't show up and support LeBron, they might beat Indiana, but they're not going to beat the Spurs. They're Fair not. enough. But in, in case the Pacers win right. tonight, uh, we will have the most boring NBA. Yeah, I have uh, a. Yeah, I like, was which, suggest- which, which- <laughs> I was. I was suggesting for everyone cheering against the Miami Heat tomorrow. Just yeah. promise me that if the Pacers win. You're gonna watch every single second of that Indiana versus San Antonio finals. Just promise me that's your. I love you it. Know, treat. I love it. Oh, if you man. don't like, I, it. I think what people are doing, they're they're treating this series as the NBA finals because if it was uh, Pacers first, oh man, it's gonna be rating stuff. All right. Anyway, sorry, Bianca's dying here. Jigs, you have a question. Come on, buddy. What's up? Yeah. I want to talk uh, balls, you, man. I, this yeah, is my question. This question is about um, Rico Blanco's song, Balisong. Um, I don't know sure. why it, it's called Balisong. I think, didn't, wasn't that asked my last guesting here? Mm, okay, maybe not. I think it's a question you probably get so often because mm. there's a little bit of, uh, you know, yeah. there's, there, there's a rumored backstory to it. Uh, so, well, uh, yeah, I mean, and it's, the, the word doesn't appear in the song. It's, uh, I asked my friend uh, if, uh, I could get a uh, pasalubong. We were in up in Baguio, and then uh, I thought my friend was gonna ask for I don't know strawberry jam or you know uh, stuff like that. Peanut bread. So yeah, we were on our way down. <laughs> But there's all these stores by the side of the road where you can get peanut brittle and, and strawberry <laughs> jam. Ube jam. Ube jam. So I asked if uh, my friend wanted uh, pasalubong, and my friend goes, yeah, balisong. I was like, uh-oh. Dude. It's up there in the yeah. you know, market. Or, My, where, yeah. What's so, that? The, the, yeah, or, Mind's View. Yeah, so um, in short, I wasn't able to get the balisong. So Let's why, tell our viewers what balisong means in English. It's a f- fan knife. Yeah. Why did I do that? Yeah. I don't know why. So I have no like, idea why you did that. We all know what a body song is. So, I, mean, I think even people who speak English know that body song is a butterfly knife. But butterfly uh, knife. Oh, yeah, what's a fan yeah, knife? But, yeah, or a fan knife. Butter- no, no, it's, it's the, the same, same thing. Oh. It's the same. Yeah, fan knife, butterfly knife, okay. same thing. So, um, but, but Rico, who's your friend? I, I, I think is, is <laughs> question. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember. Who's, who's, I, don't, I don't remember anymore. Yeah, sure you don't. Yeah, yeah. What's her name? Come on. Come on, buddy. I don't remember. Come on. <laughs> Come on, a Rico. long time ago. Man. We just got, we got just, we just got to talk about the heat. And we're all, we're all, ang- the, you know, energy's high. Come on, man. just throw it out there. Who's your? Because friend? a guy would never ask you for freaking peanut brittle or strawberry jam, right? I mean, you would assume that you would give. Uh, that's why girl, right? song was. No, the... that's why I would see why a girl would want that, dude. Mm. So just well, is it for her, her, quote unquote, her? Everyone who says the thing, because we all know who it is, or we all think we know who it is, but you've never really kind of addressed it, or maybe you have, and, and I haven't heard it, and, and Jigs here, who's in Montreal, has, hasn't heard it. But without saying her name, is it really for her? Everyone who says her is, I, I can't. There's a. <laughs> <laughs> That's I a yes, guys. It's a yes. <laughs> okay, fair yeah. enough. Jigs, it was for her. Hi, yeah. mom. <laughs> and follow up, follow up question. Yeah. During the ano sa lipat bahay na ko, na na video, mm-hmm. you're wearing a t-shirt Current na may event. nakalagay River Maya. Current this event. means a coming reunion concert. No. Just means I'm wearing a River Maya t-shirt in a music video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Rico, come on. Don't do that to us, man. That's not fair. You, you it's a it's a music video. You don't just you didn't put I, unless you tell me I'm wrong, but you didn't just open up your closet, pick For a any guy random who's shirt a you had and say I'm going to mm-hmm. Right, I'm not. I'm gonna wear this to a music video. Whatever shirt comes out, and then it yeah. all happens to be a River Maya. Why, why the choice of a River Maya T-shirt in a in a current music video? I wanted to wear an old shirt, and it's one of the shirts there. And uh, I was part of that band, so I. <laughs> what do you think you're part? I don't. Of I really didn't. River I really Maya didn't was think you. About, <laughs> I didn't think about the reunion. I, 
can't I wear a River Maya shirt? No, because you you say you that can't you're a perfectionist, wear a River Maya so it would be a calculated move. Yeah, I, I can't. Yes, I can't. you can't do it without a scrubbing. Okay, uh, to be honest, I didn't think wearing a River Maya shirt would mean would be related to a reunion concert. It could be related to playing my songs. It could be related to. I don't know, re-release. Yeah, but it's not real. Okay, I don't think why, it's really why related is it, to reunion Why concert. is it the reunion concert? I think concert. it's... Because it, it's what we want. Yeah, like, that's Rico what everyone wants. Oh, well, I didn't Maya know. Reunion. Yeah. See, that's and your the frame of, of the mind. Video, it shows like a reunion in the house where you're living. Huh? Whoa. There's no yeah. reunion there. Over it's just me <laughs> with my friends no, okay. having lunch. Yeah. But that's what art is, man. It's I just, didn't it's even know. They're breaking it down. And, and to, to this guy from Montreal, he's like, this is a reunion concert for River Mind. No, because think, he's longing for it. You see, yeah. you see Rico, no, that's what you see on, what you, you, you see what you yes. want to see. Yes. Yeah, all it exactly was to me was a, one of my favorite shirts. You know, it's comfy. And what it was you know, to him and what it is for me is if I saw it too, I'm with this guy, Rico. If I saw it, it's number one, it's like, oh my God, he's wearing a river. My, this, this has to mean something. Yeah, this it's like must a mean symbol or Rico's something. Coming, it yeah, must mean, sure. you know. It, 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 Sorry. It's like a foreshadowing of something, uh, an event that's about to happen. That's the Rico, quick question. It just means I'm not, I wasn't <laughs> wearing my Parroch and Edgar shirt. And I wore my river, my shirt. I also have a Wolfgang shirt. Come this on. guy, this guy made it up a Da Vinci Code thing. It must be Da Vinci Code. <laughs> Sorry, no. Rico, what? It doesn't mean reunion concert. Be, be honest when when I ask you this, and you can say no, you can say yes, whatever. Do you miss being? Do you miss having River Maya? Is there a? And if you have, if you miss River Maya, which one? Like what year of River Maya? In case you do, I don't. With all due respect. I got you. Yeah, I'm not dissing anyone, but I don't. I'm having so much fun with this new format that I have with the f- stupid feathers on my head, me pl- being surrounded by synthesizers and just hearing the kind of music that I love. You know, no disrespect. In a band, you need to respect the taste of your other bandmates. So Mm -hmm. whatever your tastes are, it's one fifth of the equation or you find a common ground, you know, but this time I'm just doing the music that I've always liked. And I just started doing it last year because in in my first album uh, four years ago, I didn't realize I was still tied to the kind of music that That we knew with Rivermind, that people knew that, that I thought the only kind of music that I was good at. Until I discovered, rediscovered what I really liked and put it together now. So, no disrespect, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for my bandmates in River Maya. And I'm very thankful that I met them and worked with them and I learned so much from them. But I'm having so much fun now with this kind of music. I have an ati atihan to back me up, a DJ, a rondalia. It's, you know, I'm having so Listen, much fun I, to miss. I, I believe you. Yeah, to miss the I believe old, you. Yeah. You know. And yeah, with no, regards to actually. reunion, it's possible because anything is possible. And I don't want to, you know, eat my words when I say no, it's possible, but not anytime soon because I'm having so much fun creating new music for the kids of today to be nostalgic to in the future. Okay, that's that's perfectly said. Well if said. in case though, in case that reunion concert does come <laughs> around, please don't do it when you guys are like seventy five fucking years old when you barely like, <laughs> you're frail and decrepit up there. Please, at an age like, when if you, just in case you can do it, do it when it, in an age where you guys can still rock out a little. <laughs> you know, not one of these like Beach Boys and Araneta every year when they get there and the guys are ancient, and they're like old and then heavy all right. I, mean, I want I want to see one more man when you're still young and strong. I think man. I think uh, I want to do it when I want to do it. Uh, at at this point, I think uh, we've deserved myself and and my former bandmates uh, as well. We deserve to do the gigs that we like, to do Fair. the shows that we feel like doing, not to be forced to do anything we don't like. I think we paid our dues, and we deserve that. So if we if one of us or it doesn't feel like doing it, I think we should all respect that. No, I, I, I agree completely, completely agree. It's, it's not about you know, selling the, out. It, it doesn't yeah. matter how hungry we are for it. You guys have earned to take your time you, you, or to decide your thing, and I your, think your, you, your path. 
I think, uh, and and I'm humbled, okay, by the clamor, okay. I don't want to sound too proud. Like it doesn't matter. It 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 says a lot, and it it how do you say it? Kailangan tagalog na hahataba ng puso to hear people and how much they value the work that we did before and the memories that came with it. But I like to keep doing that. So this new generation has that too, you know? It's just a different sound. So they'll have that yeah. too, you know? When right. they grow right. older, they'll have the new stuff. They'll have their Antukin and Your Universe and whatever, the new songs, Lipat Bahay, to be, to, to be nostalgic with. Gotcha. No, they, they, that makes a lot of sense. All right. All right, Jakes. Thanks for the call, Thanks, man. man. Yeah, you, had a, you had a lot of questions here. Heat, Pacers, Balisong, the reunion concert, T-shirt, reunion in the video that fashion. really wasn't reunion. Well, the fashion, fashion you, 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 you T-shirt. you, guys. Yeah. No, the T-shirt yeah. was fa- Whatever. That's a fashion yeah. question. Okay. You should have... Okay. okay, guys, let's talk about more <laughs> Thank balls. You. Thanks. All right, Jake. sorry. Thanks, Jake. Bianca needs balls. I need balls. Well, we got to take one more call because we, we only took one call. Let's, let's yeah. take one short one here because we're running out of time in this break. Uh, Anne, you're up. Uh, let's see here. Anne, um, do we still have Anne? I think we have Anne, yeah. Anne, Hello. cell phone. Hello. Hello. Up, baby? Hi, Anne. Go quickly. What do you got? You're 30 um, years old. Quezon City. Yes. Hello. Hi. Yes, go. Hi. Yes. I'm Anne. Hello, Anne. Hi, Anne. Your, your problem, question, whatever. Uh... This is my first time, and um, my friend um, texted texted you guys. Sorry, bear with me. This is my first time to talk with you guys. So I don't know if you can hear me out loud. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we hear you fine, uh, guys. If we can again pump our volume up, there's something with your um, cell phone settings there. Uh, all right, go ahead. What's your question? Oh, um, sorry. I'm sorry. I can't hear you. Question. Yeah, w- what's your question? What's your problem? I- I'm reading here you have a problem with your husband. Actually, uh, yeah, actually, um, um, sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, you can tell. No worries. Uh, I'm having a hard time. I'm happy. Well, um, I just want to say this. Um, I'm having a hard time with, not a hard time, pero parang kasi I'm married for, um, <laughs> Ten years. Okay. I'm married for ten years, and then um, um, it's just the same. It's gonna be eleven years by the time we're done with this song. (laughs) This song with this call. And yes, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Sorry, I I have to think all over again. So, but I think that that's regarding my husband and. Um, it's not sweet, it's not uh, romantic, lagi na lang gano. <laughs> Parang every time, kasi pag may mga okay, but lagi na lang gano yung scenario namin, wala man lang Christmas, Valentine, Mother's Day, birthday, wow. even birthdays. You guys don't celebrate? Christmas? <laughs> For a movie, he didn't give me Christmas. Christmas. I've been married for fifteen for for ten years. And do you have kids? Yes, we have. Yeah, do you have kids? You don't celebrate yeah, Christmas. You guys don't celebrate Christmas. We have. We have. I have a ten-year-old uh, boy, yep. and I have a, a three-year-old. Yeah, but you said you don't celebrate Christmas. Yeah, you don't. You no, don't no, celebrate no, no. We, Christmas. We, we, we celebrate. We oh. celebrate Christmas. Oh, so you guys basically have lost the uh, spice in your relationship. Romantic. Romantic. Hmm. Hold on, hold on. Here's the question I need to ask. How old is he? Um, he's forty, and I am thirty. Hmm. He's forty-three. And he's a musician. He's a what? A musician. A musician. 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 A sax oh, player. Oh, Rico. Sax player. A sax wow, player. Sax. Isn't that the irony of it all? Yeah. He's the most romantic. I know. Mr. Romantic. Exactly. Boy yeah, okay, romantic. Here's what happened, right? Was he, uh, this, was this he romantic easy. before and then it just fizzled out? Or he's just always been like this? Of course. 
years, di ba, ever siya, he courted me, like, yung, kasi magaling siya ma'am sa ano eh, sa, yung, oo, oh, yung mga kanyan, mga, kasi yung mga, <laughs> oh my kaling. God. Oh, okay, wait, parang, wait, 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 I, I, oh, this one's an easy one. <laughs> This one's an easy yeah. one, and at least for us. Uh, how? Okay. Uh, he's forty years old. You're thirty. How long have you guys been together? Um, uh, ten years married, and then four years since nineteen ninety eight. So I don't know how to calculate the years. Okay. Yeah. Hold on one second. Put her on hold real quick, just because of the background. Uh, uso pa yung uh, sax na ni. Eighty eight. Puro sax sa phone. Uso pa nga nun. <laughs> And and you listeners who listen to the show regularly, you you already know what I'm gonna say. This is what you get when you're 16 years old and you fucking date this guy and you marry him when you're in your 19, and then you get pregnant when you're 19, and then you have another kid when you're 22 and you're 23 years old, and then by the time you're 30 and he's 43, it says you're 43, you're like, where did my life go? Where did my youth go? Do not date the guy was. The guy was 30 when you were 16. And then you guys dated for a few years. He asked you to marry him when you were 19 and you had your kid right when you turned 20. That is why I tell you do not marry the guys you're dating when you're in your late teen years. Because this is what's going to happen 10 years from now. Where it's just going to be like, whatever. And, 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 uh, and you're 30, you sound like you're 21. Because you're, I think you, it was taken from you. Your, your, your early 20s was taken from you. And now you're here at 30, stuck, calling the podcast, saying your husband doesn't do anything. Well, he's fucking mid-40s, and, and, and you you're still think you're 21 because you've never experienced 21. Do I, do I sound like I'm making sense here, guys? Amen. 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 That's why you're here. And there's no going back, Ad, because with the two kids and stuff like that, you can only, you can't go back to your early 20s. You kind of gave it up because of this guy, but you can, you can enhance it. You can try your best. You can sit down and whether it be counseling or have a fucking heart to heart talk. And that talk is you have an aggressive, assertive stand and say, listen, this is what happened. I was 16 when you courted me. I said yes. And this was not what I fucking wanted. You know, I, I want us to, I, I love you. I want us to have a real relationship because that means 50 years, 60 years of my life is going to be spent like this. And I never had the chance to kind of be my own adult. Please, let's do it together. Let's not suffer like this. And I think that's what should happen. And for all you other people who are 18, 17, who think you, you're, you're together with the love of your life right now, I'm telling you, it's not going to happen. Don't do it. Don't settle down. Not early. Hmm. And does that make sense? Does that sound like your life? Yes, yes it is. I agree. Yeah, well, yeah, that's your life. Now you're super young still. You're 30. I mean, shit, you're younger than all of us here on uh, on the show. But none of us have the baggage that you have. So it's time to you for you to get assertive and talk to this guy and say you just because you're in your 40s doesn't mean I have to be in mine. Let's have some fun together. You know, you and know remind what, him, know Jesus, Sorry, you're still yeah, a hot yeah. piece of ass. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, actually, ako yung lagi nag-initiate. Okay. Um, uh, ako yung lagi nag-initiate. Um, I'm sorry, uh, parang ako naiiyak kasi titignan uh, ako ng best friend ko. So, it's okay. Um, yeah. I never had any, I have, I never had any flowers. The office, yeah. like every time. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, a saxophone player. Yeah, for, for how long? 11 years. Married, married life. So, sabi lang naman niya, ganun yeah. lang siya. Are you, um, lang siya. are you demanding? Do you nag him a lot? No. Why don't I have no flowers? Tree. Why yeah, don't we go question. on dates? Yeah. Why don't no tree. Is he busting no his tree. ass, working? You know, oh. is he? I'm just playing devil's advocate. Is he? Busting his ass, mm-hmm. working, trying to put food on the table, and when he comes home, you go, "I don't have flowers. We never go on dates." Is it? Is okay, it yeah, like let's that? Let's ask the finance. That's a that's a good yeah. That's a good angle. Are you guys financially okay? Is he working very hard? I mean, um, yes, we are. We are. We are. Because sometimes the day to day, the day to day can get in the way of yeah. romance. You know. Yeah. He's working. He's working. He's trying to put a roof on top of your heads, and you know. 
So okay, but Riku, what if she has a job? Let me ask if she has a job because if she has a job, then I think they're both kind of at they're 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 par with each other. Maybe yeah. he should really step up. I think because okay, and, and uh, are you working? Yes, I am. I am. I am. So it's a double a, a double um, income. Because see, my thing is like even okay, Rico. I see where you're coming from. Just in case, <laughs> no, it was I was that, just. But even on Mother's Day, you should at least give some. Yeah, 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 dude. There's no excuse. Okay, no, but um, it's hard to be sweet. If you're, you know, it's hard to embrace a cactus. I'm, I'm, I want Anne to also, because what we can control now, we can't control the guy. We can control what Anne can do. Anne Ba? Is, is that her name? Yeah, Anne. We can control what she can do. She can look at herself, and uh, if she's doing everything right, um, okay, a different advice maybe. But if she can see areas where she can, uh, improve in terms of creating an environment at home where he will be encouraged to be sweet to her. Because sometimes when we're just what kind of environment would that be? I don't. I don't. There are many ways. But if sometimes we we, we keep expecting, maybe we yeah, we don't f- smile. We, yeah, but she said but but no. F- but she said to a point where she's even initiating the sex part. Right? She's like, I'm the one that even has to initiate. Me, and obviously she means sex. Because my, the, the, but sometimes you have to give without expect. Sometimes when people give and you know they're giving because they're expecting something, yeah. it feels... Yeah, I'm not saying that's what Anne's doing, but it's a possibility. And if that's not what she's doing, then... I don't know, but... But sometimes there's a difference between initiating and communicating. Because I'm sorry, some guys are just dense. I'm dense. Honestly, sometimes, I don't know, a guy wants to start something, and I'm just like, hi, did you want to watch a movie? But, <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, there's one thing, to, in, in a girl's head, she's initiating something, but the guy could... There's no clue, right? I mean, it's mm-hmm. like Venus and Mars. So sometimes you just have to yeah, but spell you, it you out. Yeah, Bianca, for you're him. right. And, and but this this girl was like, okay, here's what I, I, I'm siding with her because I can hear the no. genuine feel in her voice. And I okay. and, and I'm not saying that you guys aren't siding with her, but no. this is I'm no, siding, I, 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 I can relate though. Was, yeah. I can super relate to yeah. that too. I I was in a ten year relationship and and yeah, after a while it kind of fizzles out. So I understand. Yeah, but this she got swooned by a yeah. sax well, player, okay, man. Yeah. You know, so in her mind was like, I'm 19 and I'm pregnant. Look at my boyfriend. He's a saxophone player and he fucks the you know he's fucking awesome. And and then all of a sudden, ten years later, he's on the couch yeah. and you're like, hey, where 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 Where's was my, my sax player that? Yeah, dude. Yeah, like, what happened to you? Where was the saxophone yeah. guy with the romance? And a, oh my god, you're like, come on, man. I was 19, and I, 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 you sold me to a life different from what I have. I feel conned. Yeah, but there's so many reasons, and we don't have enough. You know, we yeah, don't, it's, it's it's still really vague because we it's don't. also he could have fallen out of love, and he's still there for the kids. You know, there's so many reasons. True. It could be also. True. I mean, sometimes 100%. there's. Uh, that guys actually, if they're not really, if they feel that they're not contributing to the household as much, it emasculates them a lot, and, and that's why they don't, they can't perform in bed. They they don't feel like they're the man, right? So sometimes they just withdraw okay, well, because well, they don't actually we, we can, want we can the go, girl to know. We can go on and on with possibilities. Yeah. I think if we can give one basic piece of advice to you and it really and, and as cliche or corny as it sounds it really is sitting down and talking to yeah. him and, and really putting it out there on the table uh you know if he needs to listen to this episode and your call then let him and, and just say hey dude no matter how busy you are in case that that's what it is no matter how whatever the fucking i don't know angle is here why things are the way they are Let's just both get assertive, get proactive, man. When it comes to Valentine's or Mother's Day, just grab her, get her some roses, man. Look, you hear her. She's crying. She hasn't had a fucking yeah, bouquet um, of roses I've, in 11 years. Hey, something. <laughs> Anything, uh, one man. thing. One, one thing you can control, and is your yeah, life. Okay. Your life. Feel good about yourself. Be positive. Be. I know it's hard, but I can hear you just talking about him, and you're almost in tears. That's not going to do it. You know, when you see, you know, someone, you don't want to give it because out of pity or because you're the man. Just be happy. Do things that will make you feel better. It's going to come back. It's going to, it's, yeah, it's like, gonna, he's going to see what he saw in you before. Just 
Focus yeah, on yourself. Yeah, kind of like what, you know, what Rico was saying. Like, I know a couple of people when their marriage is kind of fizzling out. Usually, like, I have a couple of girlfriends. They start taking, taking um, strip pole class. What do you call it? Uh, Can I just do that? Sorry. Um, yeah. um, strip pole classes. They start, um, they start cooking. They start doing things for them that make them feel good about themselves. The kids. And it registers. Yeah, or... or and and yes, it's one thing to be a mom because I'm a mom too. But there are things that you also need to do for you individually, mm. not just being a mom because mm. you tend to lose yourself, right? So sometimes your husband will already look at you as the wife, as the mother of his kids, as opposed to his wife. So his you need to do wife, things yeah. to the girl that he fucks or the girl that he makes love to, not the girl that breastfeeds and cooks food for the kids, right? So you God, need you to do things. Boner. You, you need to do things that you're passionate about, and he's going to see that, yeah. and he's going to see that fire in you, and it's going to make him think, what is she doing that's so fun that I'm not a part of? Yeah. Just, yeah. If he actually yeah. cares, he'll want to be makes a part sense. of yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. Yep. All right. Thanks for the call, Anne. I, I, I hope things uh, work out. Bianca, great advice. Rico, likewise as well, man. Good stuff. We got to take a break, though. And we have a ton of calls and not a lot of time. So we'll try to make it fast when we come back. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two on the show tonight. Rico Blanco, of course, introducing the new co-host, Bianca Valerio, who does such a fantastic job here on the show that we brought her for, as a mainstay. So taking a break. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Ako po ay isang barbero. Ngunit ang ikukwento ko po sa inyo ay hindi kwentong barbero. Dati po kasi ay nagtatrabaho ko sa isang barberya sa bayan. Sa kasamaang palad po ay nasunog yon, Kaya nawalan ako ng trabaho. Kaya naisipan ko po na magdikit ng flyers ng globe number ko for home service. Hindi ko po akalay na makakaroon ako ng maraming customers. Dahil po sa dumami ang customers ko na taga iba't ibang lugar, eh, nakaipon po ako ng sapat para makapagpatayo na rin po ako ng sarili kong barberya. Napagpatapos ko na rin ang aking mga anak sa pag-aaral. Kumanda na rin po ang aming buhay sa ngayon. Salamat sa Globe. Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drugstores and supermarkets nationwide. Take a little sunshine, grab a little rainbow, mix in a smile, it's there for a while. Sabrina's Kitchen, what you waiting for? Sabrina's Kitchen, always room for one more. Sabrina's Kitchen, cooking up a storm. Sabrina's Kitchen, always something new. Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. I was dared through 
boss man to uh, to eat a spoonful of not sugar but cinnamon. So you guys, um, I don't cower down to a challenge. I take them wholeheartedly and with spoonfuls. And I'm going to take a spoonful of cinnamon. Saw this okay. like a thousand ways to die, and the guy died. <laughs> Okay, now say chubby bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I like the color of your lip. Back on the show here on this very busy Monday night on the program, we are introducing to you guys Bianca Valerio. You can follow her on Twitter, Bianca underscore Valerio. When you say introducing, it's just more a formality. She's been on the show several times. She's always done a great job, and she's going to be here from now on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday nights. And uh, what a fantastic job she's doing. And look at our guest. God, what a what a rock star. Literally, figuratively, everything in that kind of the way you mean it, man. This guy is... On stage, perfection. In the recording studio, perfection. He is, he's all low. He's all that, man. Rico Blanco on the show. You can follow him on Twitter. It's uh, just that Rico Blanco, right? Yeah. No underscores, no nothing. Oh, I'm yeah, glad you got great. that. Did you have to, did you have to take that from somebody or you got in Twitter early? Ah. Uh, Cause that's a, that's a difficult one to get. I'm it was taken. It was taken when I, yeah. uh, when I, uh, when I, when I, when I was trying to get it. Yeah, registered. It was taken, so I had a different Twitter name, and then I just tried on another, like a few months later, oh. and then oh wait, because I was so annoyed yeah. by my old uh, Twitter name. Just, what was it like, sexy boy? No, I think it was Rico <laughs> Blanco News or something. Because back then I just wanted That's it for right. news. It was Rico That's Blanco right. Rico Blanco News, yeah, and yeah, like yeah, right. my friends were like, "It's so there's so many, I don't know." When so I joined, I didn't even know if it was you or not because it was like it said Rico Blanco news and I'm like that that can't be him because why would it be news yeah and then but there were so many followers that I was like oh but it must be him because there's a lot of followers and then I, I think yeah I remember it one day I then I see that it was just Rico Blanco and I was like oh so the news isn't him because there's here's the no, real one you know, it was uh, same it was guy. one of those things because I think yeah. one of when early on one of the few accounts I was following was Manny Pacquiao so it was Manny Pacquiao News or something like that uh, I remember yeah. so I was like okay let's just do this Twitter thing I wasn't into it so much but I wanted it as a, an avenue for news you know for updates yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So. like schedules and whatnot no yeah, same yeah. like I, I just joined, joined Twitter 2011 and when I was making my uh, my name I was so clueless I just joined Facebook this year right so <laughs> I'm so new to this and so when I joined Twitter I thought my name had to be I am Bianca Valerio or I love Bianca Valerio you know how Just everyone's I love and, I and, am right. um, official like I thought you had to have stuff like that and then I was like dude I can't do that like I cannot put I am. I, I just can't. I'm just not that person, right? So, and then I tried Bianca Valera. It was already taken. And then I was like, I thought you could put dot. Dude, I was so clueless. And then finally, I was like, underscore. Oh, that's what an underscore looks like. Seriously. Underscore so pisses clueless. me off, though, for some reason. I, I, I've never warmed up to the underscore. And when I see it, I think it's because it's so difficult to. It's three see syllables. It online. And it's three syllables yeah. to say it. Yeah. Bianca, right, exactly. sorry, yeah, sorry, bro, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's not that. It's just it's it, it's not. I'm mad at it. It's like sometimes when I'm reading it on a piece of paper that has lines, you don't see the underscore. It's true. It's and true. And I'm like, though. oh, the fuck, you know, it'll fuck you up a little bit. And you'll anyway, be surprised. Some people still don't know what underscore means. Oh, no, I wouldn't be surprised. All right, let's get to anyway, some of these calls. On. They're so good, <laughs> guys. Uh, I'll be honest. We're uh, we're gonna have to push for time here. Our lines are full. I, I don't know if this is Rico's fault or Bianca's fault. One of you guys have to be blamed for this, but there's. Lovely lot. threesome. Yeah, it, it's a great problem to have, but boy, <laughs> our, our, if, if you call our landline right now, you will not get through, and we've got multiple lines uh, open oh. generally, but tonight it's it's packed, so I'm going to say it's Rico's fault uh, because you, know, you are, in fact, Rico. There are guys actually on the landline that have been on hold that want to ask you questions. They've been on hold for two hours, and they're teenagers, so they can, they can wait a little longer. Two hours. Let's something. go. 
Yeah, they're fine. Nicole, you're 18. Uh, you are from Quezon City, I believe. And you have a very, very wild question, and I want to get to it first. Mm. Hi, Nicole. Hello. What's up, baby? Um, not fine. I, God, guys, I'm listening. I'm looking at her question. Holy shit. You're 18 years old yeah. in Manila. Please tell Rico, Bianca, myself, what the hell's going on in your life? Uh, I had a boyfriend uh, for you know, three years, and then uh, uh, recently, uh, my best friend confessed to me that uh, she's pregnant. And uh, uh, in front of me, na, uh, she had her pregnancy test kit and it's positive. So I asked her, uh, who's, who's, who's the father? And then um, she's shaking, and then, uh, then she said, uh, it's your boyfriend. And I was like, oh, my gosh, fuck. But yeah. um, it's a lot of uh, boys around there, and then... Uh, Yun pa yung boyfriend ko pa parang oh my gosh ano ba to mm. hell mm. Hold, now now give us give us the worst news so what's the question uh, and, uh, no, 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 no. watch is, this no no watch this she's my yeah. best friend and I trust her in uh for for uh she's my best friend for about uh, five years and then malalaman ko lang all of a sudden ganun no. no, 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 Nicole, Nicole, okay. you're missing out the other oh, huge part. Do you want Do you want me to tell it too? Mm-hmm. I'm okay. dying. I'll I'm tell dying. You. Okay, yeah. Best friend is pregnant, right? Mm-hmm. So is she. Girl on the phone, also fucking pregnant. Same dude. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> Eighteen. Oh. Love. It. How old is your uh, best friend? Is she eighteen also? Uh, yes. Yeah, this dude is bringing in kids Who to the world with the two 18 Who the fuck is this motherfucker? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Love it. How old is the guy? How old is the guy? Is he 18 oh, yeah, how old? Ah. He's 18. Awesome. Hey, listen. Okay. Silver lining, let's just say. Uh, um, nobody has it worse here than him. Wait, he's question. 18. Does he know? He's going to be he responsible know? for two children. Silver right lining. What? Da, alam ba niya na, na pareho kayong buntis? Alam niya? Ako lang yung alam niya, pero yung best friend ko hindi. Pa. Sa akin, sino, sinabi ng best friend ko. Sa, una niya, sa, una niya, sa akin niya una sinabi. Okay. okay, so basically, your boyfriend doesn't know your best friend is pregnant. I'm sorry, I'm really pissed. Your boyfriend doesn't know your best friend is pregnant. <laughs> so technically, your boyfriend thinks you don't know that he fucked her. Yes. Oh my god. Exactly. Does he know that you're pregnant? Yes. He knows. Yeah. Hmm. And he doesn't know the girl. And uh, what was he, his reaction when he found out you were pregnant? Did is he uh, supportive? Is he uh, supportive? Okay. Uh, nung middle na pero nung first parang shock. Okay, but now he's mm-hmm. he's supportive. So when did you hear this news? <clears throat> uh uh, about the two weeks ago. Um, so, and you and you haven't done anything about it yet. Nothing. When did he get God. her pregnant? Yeah. Did, do you have an idea? And when did he get you pregnant? I mean. Yeah, like who? who yeah. Maybe January, <laughs> uh, month of January. A b- BFF baby shower. Let's see what them just no. in there. Sabay, so sabay. Mo, really? <laughs> Woo. Really? Say, and, say, um, come on. What was your reaction? Are you mad at your friend? Are you yeah. Are you pissed at her, or how do you feel? Mad at her. Okay. Uh, sinampal mo ba? No. Okay. So okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 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 Great. All right. I, so what? Okay. So what? what, uh, what okay. Well, obviously, Bianca, we have a lot to say Bianca. because it's a, no, it's a watch. Yeah, but, ju- but what's her question? Say, I just want to ask what yeah. she wants from us. What do you want from us, Nicole? I uh, advise, and I don't know what I don't know what to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. May I? Bianca. May I try? May I try? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> I, I'm a mom too, right? But mm-hmm. I, although I didn't experience the same dilemma as you did, mm-hmm. for me. I understand that he's the father of your child, mm. and I understand he's also a father of another child. Mm. Right now, you need to focus first on what makes you happy. Mm. 
Do you think being with him is going to make you happier? Do you, I mean, now you have to think, oh my God, I have to forgive my best friend. I'm so mad at my best friend. Oh my God, yes, okay, what's that? There's so many factors that that are none of your control. So what is the thing that you can control? Your attitude. So you have to think first, what is the main priority? You and your health. Mm. So ask first, do you want to keep, let's be honest, do you want to keep the baby? Right? Do you not want to, I mean, if you're going to keep the baby, are you going to make him a part of the life or not? But if, if you're going to make him a part of, your, of the baby's life, you're going to have to understand the fact that he also has a kid with somebody else. Are you going to forgive him? Are you going to punish him for the rest of his life because he did that? Kasi kung ganun lang, I suggest you break up first because it's a very confusing situation. I think breaking up is uh, it's, it's not even a decision that you have to... Uh, again, we're not here to dictate people's lives. Yeah, but, but if you were my sister and you said, Kuya, I problem ako, I would say immediately that breaking up with him is not a decision that you kind of have to you know, go one side or the other. You break up with him. This is not a good guy for you. Yeah. With, minus the baby and all of that stuff, he's a horrible boyfriend, needs to be left uh, to the side. Now... Do you? Here's a great debate. Uh, you know, and Enrico, Bianca. I mean, I don't know how you feel about this. Do you let him be a part of your child's life? While you should, because he's the father. Yeah. He also, because he's such a horrible person, might fuck your kid up in terms of values. Uh, so, there's, so there's a little bit of a of an issue there. I know most people will side with hindi tatay yan, kailangan niya, may mga ganyan, ganyan, and all that stuff. But my thing is, you if you're just going to poison my, my... You know, to yeah, be a father, just, you have right. to earn the title. It's, it's do you not hang, just do I, sperm. Do I let you hang out with the child since you impregnated me and someone else, the kind of person that you are? Because you might just poison my child's mind. For me, I feel a lot of people... No, there are, there are actually some guys who have gotten someone pregnant and fatherhood changes them. Mo, you would know this. Fatherhood really changes them. Oh, don't, don't point at me. Like, no, I'm no, no, no. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, you and I are oh, good your, friends. Your we just, yes, we yes. just know certain people that it, it, it softens them. It turns them to a totally different person, whether the, if for the worst or for the yeah, better. But these are, yeah, but those guys that you're talking about are guys who have fucked around for 10 years, banging chicks left and right, fucking on their girlfriends, and then they're 32 years old, impregnate a girl, and go, oh my God, my, what do you mean? This is, this is, this guy's cause, cause 18. Do you think we're going to see no. uh, a huge change in an 18 year old no, when he impregnates two girls at one time? For me, I'm looking at two situations. One, if he actually wants to make a genuine win consistent persistent effort then maybe make sure that it's heavily regulated you make sure that you're there when he visits her it's like you you create the terms if you want to be part of this baby's life this is what you have to do so and so and so and so but now you have to think of the child if you take out the father out of this situation, when that kid turns 18, no, at this day and age, when that kid turns 10, eight, <laughs> that person is going to say, where is my dad? And it's going to become your fault that you deprived your child of her natural, of his or her natural born right. So you have to be prepared for that. Because for me, as my, I, I'm not married, but I give my, I give the right to my child to get to know her dad and her mom because that's his natural birth, that's her natural birthright. If she wants to decide that her mom or her dad is a douchebag, then that's her decision. I'm not going to make it for her, okay. but that's yeah, me. I, I, I hear all that. That all makes sense. Here, I hear all that. Yeah, that, that, that I mean. And I know the father of your child, and while you know you can, while some may label him as a douchebag, I won't, because uh, he, I think he's a fantastic. He's individual. an awesome guy. Um, he is. Uh, he's he's an exceptional father. Yes. But again, I want to reiterate, he, you guys got pregnant not when you were eighteen, but you know he was a little older. So, uh, in their frame of mind, Rico, any inputs you can give her again, especially. I don't want to say especially you, Rico, because Bianca was in a situation she's a single mom. But, but Rico, you are a you are a uh, an inspiration to so many. When someone 
brings this to your table? What, what do you think? I don't know. This is tough. Happen? I don't I just think at 18, um, she should consult with elders in the family that she can... Tr- how is her relationship with her parents or older siblings? Because she can't... I don't want her to handle this alone. And Absolutely. same with her friend and the boyfriend. The guy also needs help. Uh, I'm sure when he finds out, he'll, he'll need help from grown-ups you know because they're kids you know and this is too yeah. big too big for them yeah. to handle on their own or just to get advice from a podcast you know with all due respect yeah yeah no so. i completely i completely agree it is life-changing for all of them and again especially this guy who's gonna have two yeah. at one time at such a young age yeah you know he it, also doesn't know what so he's difficult. doing all three of them they didn't, they didn't know what yeah. they were doing um. Okay, N- Nicole. Listen, uh, you know, Rico hit it right on the head. There, you're gonna have to consult your family, and and I hope you have a good one. I really do. I, I hope you've got a supportive uh, structure there at home with the parents and siblings and and everyone who's gonna, you know, take you in and 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 really just help you out as much as possible in this time. Uh, in terms of the relationship, don't think about it. The guy cheated on you, whatever. That, that's, 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 you know, he's... Leave him. You can't, you can't yeah. It, it's tough where that guy makes a decision to, to both have you and your best friend almost at the same time and then impregnating you at the same time. It, it's, it shows just a lot about his character. Mm-hmm. Work on your pregnancy, how your family is going to help you out. I'm assuming you don't have a job. I'm assuming you're still in school. So you kind of have to just lay the path out of what's going to be happening in your life. Uh, yeah. When you're going to continue school, how you're going to continue school, who's going to help out in taking care of the baby in, in terms of your parents and stuff like that. Maybe even check on your best friend. I know you're mad at her, but check on her and say, how's your family going to do it? Well, well, you know, take some tips from what they're offering uh, in, in terms of help and really come up with some sort of battle plan here for your child. And yeah, if um, I don't know if your school is going to allow you to, I, I don't know how it is these days with schools where if you're allowed to go to school pregnant or whatnot, my best advice is I don't stop school. Oh, like, yeah. keep going to school. You mm-hmm. know what? If you're going to be ashamed because people will look at you like, look at her. I'm sorry, but I won't say it's your fault, but you have to own up to your responsibilities. I went to school pregnant. I'm not going to let, I didn't let something like this stop me from finishing school. People will look at me, but you know what? I did this, right? So it's just take responsibility for actions, control what you can, don't stop school. Just because you're a mom, find a way. There is a way. That's what your family is there for, right? So that's right. Um, finish school, like heaven forbid, finish school. No, sorry, I, we, I don't know if we asked. Do, are your, do your parents know you're pregnant? Since you're no, my my mom is in the states, and my dad uh, uh, has a fa- uh, has another family. Who do oh, you live God. with? Who are you living with? Tita, do you have a tita? tita? Oh yes. Yeah, whoever is your guardian house. Yeah. Your relationship with your tita, can you tell her, or are you? Mm-hmm. Well, you need to tell them. Yeah, Nicole. So yeah, and they're they're Andy going to help you. you. They're going to help you more than you know. I don't know. You're scared of them us. getting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And just always <laughs> remember, a child is always a blessing. It's it's very difficult at first, and I know how you feel, but you know, in more ways than one, um, children even bring families together. Mm. So obviously, there's a reason why this is happening in your life right now, and you you will never understand it now, but. Later on, like me, I, I'm the youngest of three children. My parents are, you know, I'm... I'm. Anyway, I, we only have one grandchild in a family of five. And it brought our family closer together. We are also, you know, living separate lives. So whatever it is, just, just see that this child is a blessing. And so I hope this really wakes you up now to be more responsible with the actions that you do and be more responsible about sex, right? Mm. All right. mm-hmm. Be strong, Nicole. Be strong. Yeah, Nicole, get some get some family, uh, you know, to help you out. Obviously, yeah, with your parents kind of not in the picture and stuff, it is it is a little bit more of a challenge. Mm. 
But uh, you know what? Uh, to just uh, listen to your voice, you actually mm. you sound pretty. You sound like a strong. I, yeah. I get that vibe that you're yeah. a strong person, mm. and I think that you you're going to be able to pull this one off as as crazy as you know other people might think it may be. And I think other people would absolutely lose their minds. You sound rather yeah. put together well for that's, for for this dilemma. That's so, true. Yeah. So mm. you know, get some family to help you out. I think that's it starts there, especially at your age. Get some family help you. I think Rico gave some great advice on that one. Um, okay. All right, Nicole. Okay. Uh, how many months are you again, love? Uh, five. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you want to tell them soon. Yeah. Yeah. All right, baby. Okay. Good luck. Be strong. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Hi. Rico, how involved do you get, like, for example, if this advice show was uh, in person? Say it was you, me, Bianca, sitting, like, on... You know, like in a house or something. Say it, was a little, it wasn't a public thing and more like we just, people knew that in our neighborhood they would come to our house for this, right? Hypothetically. And she walks in with her best friend and her boyfriend there. Do you beat the shit out of them right then and there? I would. <laughs> so I feel like I want to punch the fucking shit out of this guy. I would. Yeah, he's also a kid. So what? You know, I don't know. I, mean, I want to know who his parents are. And why, how, you know, what, what his situation is. A because cheater even is yung, a cheater. Because even you mga bad people, I, the way I see it is parang, I wonder why they turned out that way. Why do people That's interesting, Rico, because you know do. what? There, is, there really is a separation between how people look at it. I know we're running late again. Fuck, man. There's so many calls. Enjoy, I, I want to take them. I, but I, I want to talk about this real quick. I'm because not, you brought up a great point. I'm not quick to... Judge. Yeah, no, no, no. Rel- you bring up a great point. I was just reading about this on uh, God, some science site because oh. there are really two schools. I think how people look at it. There's a. There's I look at a murderer. I, I don't look at this. I'm, I'm just I'm saying this as an expression. So there's a. There's there's guy type a. I look at a murderer and I only judge him for the murders. And then there's a type B guy who looks at the guy and says. I look at how he was so molested and brutalized as a child and mm-hmm. understand yeah. that him Why? killing other yeah. people is maybe uh, not what he wants, ako, but that he was kind of trained to yeah, do. Yeah, even that girl, if you're quick to judge, I mean, hey, nako, landi mo kasi, di ba? At 18, yeah. ano ka ba? But, you know, her mom isn't here. Her right. dad isn't. And I feel bad for bringing up family and then wala pala siyang support that's why I kept saying be strong because we don't know if she has family for all we yeah. know she doesn't I don't know if right. Tita, but you know it might even make her feel bad no so that's why yeah. I'm saying you know just be strong for her baby and baby is a blessing and she has to she has to be strong and voila if the family isn't there she has to grow up then I, I mean know, but, for me honestly it's I totally understand that in in the sense that, you know, when people do things, you want to understand why they are driven to do the things they do. But sometimes it's, I look at the guy and it's just, (laughs) you were just a fucking horny toad, weren't you? And it's just, I'm sorry, you were just fucking horny. You were so selfish. But but all guys are, all people (laughs) are, guys and girls are. It's the situations that brought them to, you know, parang pinakawalan eh. And, no, but before you, know, you give the dramatic talk of why did you do that? Why I I'm I need to understand all these things. But dude, you sapakin mo muna. Sapakin mo muna, ah, bro. Pwede, I'm sorry, you gotta beat okay, the uh, shit out yeah. of them first. Mo muna ko, Come on, tupin. right? Because they gotta know what they did was yeah. not fucking okay. cool. Fair enough. Fair enough. And, and honestly, all get right. mad at the girl too. <laughs> yeah. My parents got mad at me when I was pregnant because it's true. It takes two to tango. It's mm. not like and it takes three. It just mira- It takes in three. In their case, that, too. To I don't know. Do what the call hustle that. in this situation. Everybody needs the their fair amount of getting scolded at because Oh, what are we talking about? You know what would be great, man, Bianca? What? Have you ever had this in the history of our podcast? You've been on the podcast a, a long mm. time, uh, Bianca. I mean many times. Threesome. Both girls got pregnant. Oh, damn. Somebody. Oh, that would be wasn't right. And I bet the two girls I'm sorry, oh, I don't man. no, I don't no, That's the call imagine. we're looking for. Yeah. Oh, God. That's the call we're looking for. Threesome, both of you got pregnant on that same night. <laughs> oh, so, oh, oh. Hey, listen, that's gonna be caller of the night. We need one of those calls coming <laughs> soon. One of you people. You must have if you know somebody, tell them to call the show. We would love to have that. Oops. Woo. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, no, but right? no, wait. There are those ninja parties. Ninja party. Oh my god, you've never heard of this? Ninja party. Rico, you, come on. You've never been. To, listen, I've never been. Okay. God damn it, I would have okay. invited Rico. So ninja. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Time. We gotta go. We have a super. We have. We're late for break. When we All come right. back, I promise you, ninja parties will be the first topic what before we get more calls. What the hell is a ninja party? Rico, okay. Like, okay. you've never been invited. You've never no, heard never of a ninja party? No. I don't, what is a ninja party? Uh, well, we'll tell you after the break. Sex. Okay. Lots of lots of stranger sex. <laughs> oh man! Hey, listen, Rico Blanco needs an invite to his ninja party <laughs> at Rico Blanco on Twitter. Taking a break. Back after this, on go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes there are suddenly shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this, Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drugstores and supermarkets nationwide. Take a little sunshine, grab a little rainbow, mix in a smile, stay for a while. Sabrina's Kitchen, what you waiting for? Sabrina's Kitchen, always room for one more. Sabrina's Kitchen, cooking up a storm. Sabrina's Kitchen, always something new. familiar with a with a game Chubby Bunny. But um Ch what's wait. Have you have played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth and you okay. keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you okay gonna ba. Okay. And you're gonna be like okay na okay na. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Alright, I'm gonna do this time. Okay, can I Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, can I Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> okay, can I go? I don't know, I don't know. What show? That show! It's a show! You know, that 
show. It's that show, Barry. Oh, that show. Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about... Oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina? And... Like a double blowjob. Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave the shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High-five, bro. Vagina? Vaginas? And you're jacking off really intensely, but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know? Vaginas? And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. We are hitting the, uh, we're going to be close to overtime here. So let's try to get these calls out of the way as fast as we can. Uh, no more calls, please. If you're uh, listening to the show, 4787954 or Skype or whatever. If we don't get to you, we'll try to get to you tomorrow. Um, it is, we're almost running that two hour mark. So welcome back to the show. It's good time to roll the podcast season two on the program tonight. Rico Blanco, as well as new co-host Bianca Valerio. Both follow them on Twitter at Rico Blanco for Rico and at Bianca underscore Valerio for Bianca. Don't forget on uh, Independence Night is going to be uh, Rico's concert. Major solo concert at Music Museum. Please 12, do check June it 12, out. June, June 12. 12. SM Tickets and uh, Ticket Net. Yeah, ticket net. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. All right, Rico's gonna be there. Um, and and if you call the show tonight, maybe if there's any way you see Rico walking around in the vicinity, Rico, that was me. You know, call. I'm mm. the one with the. Uh, yeah, I'm the one. Like the, <laughs> I'm, I'm Jacob. With the Jacob. <laughs> That's right. No, no, I'm Jacob. <laughs> yeah, I'm Jacob. Oh, you're him. Okay, fantastic. All right, uh, let's get to these calls. Okay, let's try to make them as fast as we can. Lester here is on line two. Lester, you could be the new record holder for being on hold. You called right when the show. No, you called about thirty minutes before the show started, which was two hours and twenty minutes ago. Lester, line two. Are you there still? Oh man, I'm not surprised. You lost. there? Wait. We last checked him twenty minutes ago. He was Wait, still there. Was so he on I the think cell phone? Wow. No, no, he was on landline. Oh, and he's okay. eighteen. So I was. He was on a landline. I'm going to keep him wait there. Cheyenne. And uh, twenty minutes ago, we checked on him. He was still there. Cheyenne. If you guys don't mind, can you call him back? Wow, a man. The guy was on hold for two hours before he gave up, or maybe got cut off. Uh, let's go to Angelo. Angelo, you've been on hold for one hour, and you have a question to Rico for Rico uh, on line three. Uh, Angelo, you're twenty two in Makati. Angelo. I'm surprised we lost him as well. <laughs> one last try. Bernadette, line one. Marikina, 29 years old. Hi, Bernadette. Maybe we're just not putting... Maybe it's our button. Are we putting them on? Bernadette? Now we lost her. Okay, no worries. We'll take another one in, in a little bit. Um, sorry, before the break... Bianca, you were explaining to Rico the ninja parties. Dude, Please we explained tell it at the break. The and, uh, yeah, Rico but uh, was uh, a what are the people? Hilarious about it. Wild. Okay, basically, ninja parties is I'm a parent. <laughs> I'm freaking out, right? Because ninja parties are basically where even as young as grade six to high school, they get invited to these, you know, secret parties. It's basically if you guys have seen the movie Eyes Wide Shut, but not as fancy as a mansion. It's, you know, they. They're basically, it's an orgy in the dark. It's called ninja because they blindfold themselves and uh, it's in the dark. So it's kind of like hide and go seek the first dick you feel. It's just the way it is. And so I've read um, uh, articles about this where 
there is one girl, she's she's grade six, and she got pregnant. And because, you know, everything was in the dark, she doesn't even know who the, the father of her kid is. So it's it's just the kids of today just, dude, I, I don't understand. And it's just... Um, you you yeah. know, though, while we say kids of today, I, I have been reading um, literature from, uh, you know, CNN and stuff like that, Time Magazine, that, that teenage sex is really <clears throat> kind of on the on the decline but i guess i have heard of these parties i've never been invited to them i i, I feel bad but it's not just teenagers like oh, i have callers Mo, really <laughs> no no really I, i've never been invited and i'm pissed off about it because i get callers on my radio show saying that there's ninja parties not the kid version obviously i'm not gonna go to a bunch of six uh, grade six guys but what i'm saying is like there are like lawyers there are lawyer parties there are doctor parties where people of a common denominator get together and just fuck it out it's and like that movie like, um crazy sex crazy that's a song crazy sexy love what's that um crazy, love, love drugs or? and stupid things i haven't seen it but, love, but yeah they, love they, drug they, love and other drugs where all the med reps like have an orgy at that mansion in beverly hills that's the one right yeah. right yeah and, and I, i've taken i mean this is calls i've taken years and years and years ago and it's like yeah we are we're just a bunch of people in the medical field we go out there and we we we're adults we have one house and it's a swinging life yeah. doctors go in there and they fuck each other and it's 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 good stuff maybe it's something they use to help de-stress or whatever but yeah, it, it's I've I've mm -hmm. never been invited to these things, and I feel I don't awful until for me. until I know someone who's actually been to one. It's you know it, it, if if it's a regular thing, parangalan is that what you're saying? It is. I I think I don't think it's regular like Friday happen. night poker. No, but. no, because sometimes you know maybe things like that happen by accident, but for it to be like a club, I, I don't buy that like scheduled and organized I don't, I don't buy that yeah. shit it's all just stories from, but I've never heard of like okay, well, an actual them, friend though. who has been to one or, or is part of such a club I, I, okay well let me ask you this then uh, let's take it to your field mm. obviously the rock star life they, they you know the, the cliche is sex drugs mm. destroying hotels Mm. And all of that. Mm. How much of that is true? The the destroying hotels, drug, sex, bullshit, or is that way old school? That's um, like you take the best stories from what forty, fifty years of rock and roll, and then you think it happens every week. It doesn't happen every week, you know. Maybe a band in the seventies did it once. It doesn't mean all the bands do it, you know. Stick stick the chairs on the. And the ceiling, you know, uh, it's right, right. It doesn't it, between that movie Rock Star and maybe Almost Famous. Almost Famous is more, I mean, closer to maybe reality than the other one where it's all cliches. Now, I have had a obviously being in this business as well as a radio DJ, have had guys in bands that tell me if any of those three elements are true, it would be the sex part. Also, because I know a lot of girls who are really out on the prowl to fuck rock stars. Mm. I mean, like, I did they? So they're out there. I think. I, um, think, I think it's there's sex everywhere. Lawyers get sex. Pilots get sex. Accountants get sex. Doctors get sex. Athletes get. You know, it's. So what if you're a musician and you're just it's just another job and people just there's just sex everywhere. Same with drugs. Same with all these other things. There's drugs everywhere. So there's no gray. So okay. So everything is really glamorized just because you, you know. Well, Oy, you bandayan. Rocks, but, 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 yeah, but, but, but but yeah, but no. I think it, maybe what what it means is that if a girl has sex with a lawyer, no. Oh, but if a girl has supposed sex with a rock star, ah, you know, I guess it's more of the prestige. Yeah, but you don't I guess. see girls the dressed premium. up, you know, suggest, scantily clad outside a law firm waiting for those. No, that's them why. No, what I'm street. saying is, what well, Rico is trying to say that everybody has sex. Yeah, but you have to understand who that person has sex with. Right? Mm. I mean, if it's just like the guy next door, bar who top notcher, to I mean, owner of the firm, <laughs> and there's a there's a yeah, no, but I'm saying to some people, they they wanna they wanna fuck the the rookie, you know, the NBA star, or they wanna 
Rico Blanco, you know. I'm just saying there's a hierarchy in every field, and it applies to every field. The rookie lawyers want to get with the the big shot, you know, lawyer who owns the firm. I don't know. There's a, there's the same thing. It, it's Fair it's enough. it's the same. It's just I I, I agree. But I disagree at the same time because I see, I know these girls that just want to bone you, Rico. I promise you. Yeah. And, and remember that one time when I told you that we had a, guy, a girl call the show about, about having sex with you? Mm. And, and several girls called up my radio show. Now, obviously, they could be lying through their ass, but mm. they, are, they were all pretty consistent about what they said. And they said, you got a big ass dick. That's all they said. Yeah, that's what they said. It, oh. If that's what they said, then they 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 weren't making it up. All right. No, I gotta say this though. I feel you know how guys have like different styles. I feel like this is Rico's style. It's not even a style. As you can see, he's so NR, no reaction. He's so sedate, and it's the slithering kind what? of approach. No, you know what they call them. You don't you know even what, fucking you know, see no. them. Boom, it's done, right? You know what they call them. They call Intense them skinny thick. conversationalist. Make, On the radio know. show, Bianca, they call Rico skinny thick. Skinny guy, <laughs> big thick dick. <laughs> <laughs> It's how you use it. That I matters. see. That's why it's kind of like that's why he's so quiet. He feels like I don't need to work for it. They'll just. Yeah, so it. I, was, I was talking to this girl, so I'm like, so we, our topic was sex with a celebrity. You had sex with a celebrity called the show, so people were calling. You had sex with this one, and then uh, like three people called Rico Blanco, and we're like, maybe on the third one, we're like, wow, Rico, huh? And then like, so wait, little enough of telling me who it was. Since you're like girl number three calling about Rico, what was it like? And she's like, oh, he's skinny thick, and I'm like. Skinny thick, what is that, like skinny dick, maybe thick head part? She goes, no, 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 he's skinny, the dick is thick. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. There is okay. a saying, though. They say that usually guys <laughs> who are skinny have, have big, I don't know, it's just because it's like, the dick talk seems like I'm bigger because they're skinny. No. Yeah, pretend I'm not here, okay? <laughs> Go on. Shut up, you are enjoying Ooh, this, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was whatever. like, what is it like? And she's like, oh. And, and the way she said it, you might like, the Papa Murusha on radio, which is very clearly <laughs> not allowed, fucking good. Uh. <laughs> Okay, I'm beside Rico and he's kind of blushing a yeah. little. All right, I'm sorry, yeah. Rico. I just, hey, listen, it's not like I'm making it up. It's all recorded. Someone right. called. Fair enough, notes. fair enough. It's all bi okay. biographical, my friend. All right, here we go. Biographical. Uh, <laughs> Le okay. Lester, 18 years old, the guy that was on hold for two and a half hours. You're finally on the show on line four. What's up? Hi, Lester. Hey, hi, Mo. Lester, first of all, thank you for your patience, man. We were getting, taking a call, ton of calls tonight. I saw that you were there first, and you know, I apologize we only got to you now. But Rico is here, Bianca's here, and you have a question. What's up? Yeah, no worries. Um, I said, so um, I just got off from my two-plus relationship, and the thing is that I don't want to date like cheap girls, so I'm kind of looking with, for girls with glass. Okay. Okay. And how could I, like how long do I have to observe a girl before I could safely say that the girl has glass? What are you looking for in class? I mean, I, it's a little... What you yeah, what is classy little, mean? Yeah, what do you, how do you define classy? Like, yung tipong hindi palamura as boys doesn't... Yung, like, like a proper lady. Yeah, a lady, exactly. Five yeah, minutes. Okay. Yeah. Kausap, kausap Rico, yeah. Five minutes. Alam mo niyan. That's true. Yeah. No, that's, 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 my mom has told me stories before that some of her guy friends um, marry the girl and turns out, you know, cheap palas and... When caught up, nila, you know, um, mm. kung wari lang may, you know, it's quiet. like they yeah, seem Lester, classy but, but, at first, but when their back is turned, they're actually really scanty. Okay, how about this? The, okay. Your first big fight. You know, <laughs> sometimes it takes the first big uh, fight to find out the what they're like. Yeah, it, how, how much class, how much they're going to carry a huge argument. But see, Lester, the thing is, you're not going to marry these girls yet. So don't worry. Uh, your mom, uh, great advice and motherly advice, perfect. But she's saying, you know, they marry these girls and they find out. That's why you're going to take your time, Lester. That's why when you get into relationships, you're not going to be making these huge neck. We need to take this relationship to the next level kind of stuff. You new kids, take your time, date around, get into a few fights, assess what they're like in, in, in problems and when they struggle. And, and then, and, you know, you can kind of make your decision there whether you have someone that can handle why is these it, things and, and handle it classy. And ask yourself, why is class so important to you? Why is it the most important thing? Um, you can find a classy girl and then turns out her heart is, you know. 
Exactly. Just yeah. rotten. No chemistry. Yeah. It could be, yeah. So That's true. Ask yourself that too. I don't know. I guess it's because my mom deeply rooted in me with, you know, growing up with pride and class but and see, good manners and everything else. So I guess that's oh. that. Yeah. yeah, that's nice to Yeah, and to no have. worries. I, I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not doing anything about anything serious. I just don't want to go out with, you know, cheap girls. I just, you know. I'm glad you think about it that way because when I was 18, I was like, I'm going to try to find a cheap girl. Yeah, your your mom raised you well. Yeah. I got to say, your mom raised you well. But However, it cost me less money, get more sex. At the, at the same time, though, I mean, it's a trial and error process. I was once told by someone that basically when you're meeting people, it's a whole interview process, right? You don't really know, but you're interviewing for the person you're going to be dating. And they don't even know it. You don't realize it either. So just keep meeting people. If you have the mindset that I'm out to find someone to date, then you, like Rico was saying earlier, you will see what you want to see. And sometimes that's not really the truth, right? It's just a facade. So sometimes if you look too hard, you end up looking at the wrong thing. Mm. So just meet people with a mindset that I'm just getting to know people. And then in the process, you get to know yourself better. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the most important thing. Figure yourself out. Why is it so important to you? What really matters to you? What's really, you know, um, instead yeah. of just studying people as if they're, Objects. You yeah, know. it doesn't define them, right? I but, mean, but just because a lot time, of though, girls have manners doesn't mean that they're a better catch exactly. than the other. Yeah. But but at the same time, though, Rico, if I can, if I may go back to the very first thing you said, because I completely agree with you, one hundred percent, Lester. When you get to be our age, Rico's age, my age, Bianca's age, you know, in five minutes, mm. you, you basically know what, what what kind of person you're you're dealing with in in about five minutes. Now, the, the, there are people who are fantastic con artists and stuff like that that can really drag it on, and then they'll show themselves down the line. But those people are extremely talented. When you get a little bit of experience, when you know who you are, and and, and you know you get a good feel for life and stuff like that, you generally in a few minutes you'll see in time. It's really true so what Mo said, with. though. You you get to discover a person's character when you have an argument. Because that's when you kind of, are you going to lose control? Are you going to lose your temper? Are you going to say things out of spite? Right. So You'll it, find the, their style yeah, of exactly. arguing. Are they the yeah. type who's going to look for words mm. to really hurt you? Are they vindictive? Are they, you know, that's all me. Are they, yeah, are they um. irresponsible with the things that they say? And you're are also going to discover things about yourself. Are you more understanding? Are you more proactive? Are you reactive? So it's not just about finding someone. It's also about finding yourself. Because who you are will obviously attract the same kind of person. I believe yep. that, right? Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Lester. Thanks for the call, man. I appreciate it. And again, for your patience, you could be the new oh, record yeah. holder for could, I on hold. Could you just say a couple of things? Yeah. Yeah, please. Um, I, I'd also like, you know, besides my mom, I'd also like to give credit to Mr. Mo here because I've actually been a listener since I was 11. Wow. And Mo raised you well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The force is strong in this one. That's right. <laughs> the nerd is strong in him. Oh, I'm my angry. God. This yeah. nerd out. Well, thank you. Thank yeah. you, Lester. That's very nice of you to say. Everybody. You're going to get best caller. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not my call to make. That's Rico's call to make. That's not my call to make. All right, Lester. Thank right, you, man. Okay. That, that's very kind of you to say. Thank okay, you. Thank you, then, Paul. Bye. All Take right. care. Bye -bye. He is a keeper, right. that one. He yeah. even said, he even said, Paul, he's, yeah. his mom raised him well. I, mm. I like that. Him. Him. I mean, Mo, Mo, yes. Mo and Mom, Mo and yeah, Mom yeah. raised Thank them you. well, right? Angelo, last call for Rico. Uh, question for Rico regarding music, and then we're gonna wrap up tonight. Um, okay. <laughs> Angelo, you're in Makati. You've been on yeah. hold a long time. You got a question for Skinny Thick here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay. Yeah, go ahead, Angelo. Ah uh, yeah, uh, sir Rico. Um, yes. I just want to ask if, in, uh, of all the songs you compose or song. What song is your favorite, favorite and why, Po? I don't have favorites. Uh, or what is the best song? Do you have a most proud of song? Yeah. Like when you, I mean, when, uh, if we can rephrase. When, when we hear Po, it's yun yung tumatak sa inyo. Or maybe, Rico, sorry, I know you were about to ask, like maybe like... Hey, you know, God forbid, but one day when it all, it's all said and done and, and, you know, we all move on from this life, the legacy 
that yeah. you you've left behind? Is there going to be like one song you one want song. first on your biography yeah. that you you know just the the, the top biller? I haven't thought of that. Like, if you were asked to perform in the Billboard Music Awards, one song, or like the oh, what would you call it? Yeah, yeah. just one question. song. That's a good Thank question. you, Miss yeah. Bianca. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bianca, look at you. That's Thanks awesome. So yeah, much. let's say, I okay, let's say well, we have we have the world's greatest concert filled with the greatest bands in the history uh, of every nation, know, and everything. Got, and then got, you only get one song. I got my answer. I'm gonna write for yeah. that event. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna write a new one. You're going to write uh, a new one? You're going to do an original? Yeah. What I mean, a great no, no, no. answer. Wow. Shit. Rico for president. Everybody. Okay, no, Rico, hold on. Say you, <laughs> can't, you, say you can't do that. Say the, the concert was you have to play with <laughs> one. Oh, you're such a fucker, man. <laughs> yeah, let's say. No, because, I mean, that's a great answer. Because, uh, shit, well, I think every artist would do that if, they, if you think about it, right? I mean, one yeah, huge one stage, shot. Olympic style. Yeah. Where, one shot. Okay. Why will I write? Uh, why will I play an, a song written for a different time why, when I can write? Right. When, can, when That's I can why play. we have to throw this okay. curveball. Okay, here's That's another follow-up say, question to that. It's not allowed that. to write a new song. Okay, here's a follow-up question <laughs> okay, to that. Would allowed. you let yourself just do an original, no... Um, like, you know how they always do an MTV, Billboard, all, all those um, music award shows, and they do collaborations. Yeah. Would you do that or just your own thing? Maybe my own thing. Your own thing. Yeah, but what if they thing. said, like, it was with you two or with whoever is your favorite artist? Would you do it? Or your own thing? And, and at a stage like that, maybe yeah. my own thing. No. Yeah, and things like that you got to do your own Balls, yeah. because man. you're talking about the the yeah. the audience like it was in the Olympics, like once every four years kind of style yeah. of thing like that, where the whole world yeah, gets they'll, together. They'll, they'll forget that yeah. guy who played with you too, and you know. But if you did your own thing, and you know, like Rico, it. do you uh, okay, like again like uh, because it. you are Rico Blanco, and and again sometimes we forget in this very casual setting. Uh, of this podcast of us sitting down here fucking around talking about yeah. sex and stupid shit that we are in truly the presence of one of the greatest Filipinos in the history of our country. I mean, oh, wow. really, like Rico. No. I, I'm, 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 as, that's about as honest <laughs> and accurate as a statement I've ever given. You are... Mm. I, I, I don't want to... Fuck, we're running over time here, buddy, but... I don't want us to ever forget that. Like, no. Bianca, like, at this it's moment, God true. damn, this is Rico. Dude, this is fucking Rico Blanco. Yeah. It really is a very special Mahaba. thing. Mahaba to, yung list, to hang may out. Bonifacio, meron pang. I yeah. know, but the, the, the contributions you've brought to the arts. In the is Bonifacio like in terms of say revolutionary for him and, and you know okay. you get what I mean like your contribution to Filipino arts is as strong as anyone else's is existed in, in our you in paved our the way so for a lot I of artists that. I'm it's just true all right. well I'm honestly I'm thrilled when uh, when I hear people with that kind of perspective because I don't hear a lot of People with that kind of really? perspective, yeah, it's they're just haters, well, even man. If they don't they're like just you. jealous. No, listen, no, no, I mean, even if okay, look, I mean, no, but even if they don't like you, my, you, you I can't don't, deny the stats, though. I don't see myself in that same light, so and I don't want to see myself. That's in good. That light. Yeah, you shouldn't because yeah. if it gets to your head, and Rico, just, as a basketball fan, though, okay. as a basketball fan, you okay. know that if I'm an analyst and I look at the stats and I see what you bring career-wise, current season, whatever the fuck you guys want to look at, if you lead the league in scoring and you've led it for ten years, no okay. matter how humble you are, I'm sorry, you still are the could be labeled as the greatest basketball player that's ever lived, regardless right. of whether you're going to believe it or not. All your right. stats, it speaks for itself. The resume speaks, and whatever. I mean, I you, lucky. Can, you can be nice and about it. I was it, lucky because no, it's true. In basketball, you need to beat your opponent. I don't have opponents. I just make music. I just, you know. So I'm lucky when people receive it well. That doesn't mean I'm good. It just so happens that people receive it well. I work no, hard. You're being nice. Again. No, no, no. What are you talking about? It doesn't I matter. I mean, if I you're work good. hard. I'm okay. I work hard. So, Honestly, okay. This is. Ah, you never believe me, man. No, continue. Honestly, continue. Go, go. I think I have mediocre <laughs> lyrics, vocal quality. Uh, I'm a producer. Vocal quality, vocal control, skills with instruments. Um, I, I, I can be proud of my ability to think of melodies. On that one, maybe okay. I, 
I can give uh, you know myself kudos for, for 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 my melodies, but my lyrics I really have to work so hard on okay. them. Okay, I'm gonna these... cut you off because that's mm. bullshit. That's bullshit, man. You know what? You know I know it's okay. bullshit. Okay, no, no. I'll tell you this, Rico, because my hair stood up right now because I'm angry at you for for a statement like that. Uh, well, because <laughs> I told you this last time you were here, and I said your music, your lyrics, more than your melody. That yeah. one time has helped me personally through some really extraordinarily difficult stuff. And again, you're right. Your melodies are great. Kudos. But do not sell yourself short on lyrically. Because Dude, I swear to God, I read your you shit. I read your shit on the internet without the melody, just the lyrical, the lyrical right. part. And it, it, it gets to a point where I'm like, wow, this motherfucker, man. And I know this guy. You know, <laughs> how did, this is fantastic work. You know, and again, so don't sell yourself short, man. I'm gonna get I, angry at you for that. Well, don't do that. Well, You're a fucking fantastic writer. Yeah. God damn it! Just uh, really, it's hard. Really. It's hard work. Lyrics are hard work for me. All I'm right. just saying. But okay, I'm okay, saying. fine. It's hard work. <laughs> Fighting about how good. No, you are. I guess well, right. what he's trying to say Angelo, is great question. It's great okay. that he has all this talent, Sorry but he's I saying it's that. not easy, right? It's not easy. It's, it's, not easy. it's hard work. I'm, you know, there are I, guys in school. I believe you. There are guys in school who do well, get good grades because they're really smart. That it was I had. To them. I yeah. had. I had high grades. I was accelerated. Whatever. I was an honor student. But I had to really study. I had to. I wasn't as smart as the others because I know just from talking to them, you know how quick they are, how witty they are, how fast they are. But I'm not that smart. But I really do my homework. I put in the hours. I review. I, you know, that's same with music. I'm just. Okay, I, I will, but I'll back you up then. Fine, you do that. But you are, okay, let's say other students, they don't study as much and they get valedictorian. But Rico, to get valedictorian, he has to study his ass off. Yeah. But hey, they don't write books, man. You write textbooks, right? Like, oh, you're both oh. valedictorian, but the next year, who am I going to be learning from? Who are my kids going to be learning from? They're going to be learning from the books that fucking Rico Blanco wrote. All okay. right, about the lyrics, I had low grades in poetry in college. <laughs> Low grades. I wrote the same way. I still write the same way. Teachers didn't get it. You know, and all of a sudden, they put a little melody, and oh. So. Okay, fair enough. All right. right. Subjective. But I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Uh, As to the favorite song, I don't have an answer. Sorry. Uh, It's okay. (laughs) Sorry. All right, Angel. Thanks for the call. Yeah, thank you. uh, Thanks, man. Actually, I asked that because um, Rico is so wrong idol ko siya ever since nung no, nasa River Maya pa po siya. And now, now, Rico, how do you feel about this? Because obviously we're in our mid to late 30s, uh, you know, the, us, I'm, and okay. you got kids these age, 20, 18. So you're saying, let's just say when you first came out, this guy was four mm. years old. How do you, how do you, oh God, we're so late, sorry. Well, how do you, I'm getting yelled at here by the staff, like, come on, fucker, take a break. Um, how do you go, like, how do you accept this stuff when you, when you break down that this guy was four years old when you first started and to say, God, Rico, super idol kita growing up, you know, and stuff like that. I mean, you are such a part of this guy's life. He's 20 now. <laughs> in his entire life, he's looked up to you. That's, that's must be what a, I, a that's, weird, crazy feeling. That's what I do what I do. You know, when I hear comments such as the one that you gave a while ago that some lyrics of mine got you through a certain phase in your life, and that's why I work hard on my lyrics. That's why I yeah. work hard on my music. We're it's, looking for or for that. <laughs> So that's, that's, you know, every day, I, it's hard work, but when I hear words like that, it, it encourages me to keep going. Just like any All other right. job, it, they're hard days, you know, but. Angelo, we will yeah. see, you. thanks for the call, Angelo. Yeah, and by the way, you, we will you. see you thank at you so Music much. Museum, my yeah. friend, on uh, June 12, <laughs> buddy. I, I mean, so. if you're a big fan, you're going to be there. Yeah, I hope so. Can I have a ticket? Kung, kung gusto. <laughs> kung, kung gusto may you paraan. can buy them at Music Museum yeah, I, and SM Ticket Net. Uh, yeah, SM Ticket. Tickets. Okay. SM Tickets yeah, and Ticket, ticket Net. Net. Okay. Okay. Thank Locking. you. All right, Angela. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, buddy. Bye-bye. All right, we got to go. God, we're so late. Okay, when we come back, we're going to wrap it up, say goodbye. Will this be a short, short break? And then we'll say who uh, caller of the night is. We'll decide all of that in the next few seconds here. And then uh, say our goodbyes to Rico and Bianca when we come back. Don't go away. It's Good Times to Roll the Podcast Season 2. 
Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Ako po ay isang barbero. Ngunit ang ikukwento ko po sa inyo ay hindi kwentong barbero. Dati po kasi ay nagtatrabaho ko sa isang barberya sa bayan. Sa kasamaang palad po ay nasunog yun. Kaya nawala na ako ng trabaho. Kaya naisipan ko po na magdikit ng flyers ng globe number ko for home service. Hindi ko po akalay na makakaroon ako ng maraming customers. Dahil po sa dumami ang customers ko na taga iba't ibang lugar, eh, nakaipon po ako ng sapat para makapagpatayo na rin po ako ng sarili kong barberya. Napagpatapos ko na rin ang aking mga anak sa pag-aaral. Kumanda na rin po ang aming buhay sa ngayon. Salamat sa Globe! Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this, Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drugstores and supermarkets nationwide. Take a little sunshine, grab a little rainbow, mix in a smile, and stay for a while. Sabrina's Kitchen, what you waiting for? Sabrina's Kitchen, always room for one more. Sabrina's Kitchen, cooking up a storm. Sabrina's Kitchen, always something new. Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. All right, we've got to make this fast because we got to get out of here. Our shows with Rico Blanco, uh, Rico Blanco are always so long, but really, it's, not a, it, it's a good problem to have. There's a lot of calls. It's our debating, as you said. <laughs> yeah. I never let you win. Sorry, I just I really enjoy when you're here. You're very sharp. You're extremely bright. We have a, a lot of things. I think not not in common because we're completely think different people. But we have a lot of interests. I think in common, and it makes for good conversation. So Rico thanks for being Blanco here. Rico Blanco just looks so much sexier to me now, dude. Seriously, because what's it called? Skinny what? <laughs> Skinny thick. <laughs> 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 All right, rock on. Uh, Rico Blanco, don't forget everyone. Big concert, June uh, Music Museum, June 12. Dude, you have to be there. Bianca, I'm assuming you're going to have to be there too because you have this. <laughs> he's the apple of your eye. So sit right there, front row. Maybe he might throw you a guitar pick. Um, <laughs> But yes, so thanks, Rico, for being here, man. I appreciate it. Again, I know in your life, you're very busy. You're also acting. You're always, you know, rehearsing, stuff like that. But we'd love to have you back just because I think you do such a great job when you're here. Um, Thank you, man. Maybe sometime uh, soon. Yeah. Thank you. Just just tell me when. 
I'm game. Fantastic. Bianca, welcome to the family. Love Thank having you, you here. I think you 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 are funny and, and great and I can't wait to see you tomorrow and the day after that. And of course, you can't even see me. Can you see me? Uh, that's true. Well, one day. I mean I know what you look like. Obviously we, we kind of grew up together, so I know what you look like. Yeah. Um all right, so we'll see you guys tomorrow on the show. Uh Rico, caller of the night. Again, we're super late, so we we'll, who did you like? The um, girl who's pregnant. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. The and and you, you said very something nice about her off air. You said she could really use it. Yeah, she could and, and whatever cool. we're getting and she could yeah, she, she could really use it. Well, hopefully, she gets that iPad tomorrow morning. We'll call we'll yeah. call her in the morning because yeah. we can't get in t- uh, touch with her right now. And yeah, whether you keep the iPad, maybe sell it, sell like it. you said, Rico, whatever uh-huh. you might, yeah, you might could help out. So hopefully that happens. All right, so let's go to our uh, exit um, little sound effect here, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Rico, thanks for being here again. Follow him on Twitter at Rico Blanco. That's at Bianca underscore Valerio. And uh, good luck to the Heat and Pacers a little bit <laughs> later. That's going to be something we're going to be watching, I'm pretty sure. Let's go, All Heat. Right, bye, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gumata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media Inc. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. <laughs> you can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.